Count me down from 100. Guys, welcome to Punch Drunk Sports. We're back, and guess who's back? Say it. Say it. I'm back. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Tripoli is back. We're here with Fight Nanny and Johnny, who's also back. Johnny was home for nine months. I was say, technically, everyone's kind of back. Except We're for Ari, back. who's just doing street drugs, apparently. <laughs> Literally street drugs. Drugs he finds yeah, on yeah. the street. Uh, if you try this uh, and you don't die, then uh, I'll do it too. Uh, he probably waited like 10 minutes. Too, that's like. so funny. <laughs> you know how they have food tasters? Like Trump had a food taster that died. Right? Is that true? Yeah, no. that's what the see this the Secret Service guy had, like he was supposed to taste his food. Imagine if that's your job, you Rochambeau. Who's gonna eat <laughs> today? Well, uh, they used to have okay, that all the time. Day, like, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you know. back in like the days of like you know like the feudal days, like kings and queens. There was a guy with because everyone was always trying to poison the king. There was a guy that had to eat the food first, and then if you didn't die, then the king would eat it. What if they? What if like famous people had drug testers? And like you had to test the drugs first and before you do it. And then they're like, okay, smoke this. Okay. And then it's PCP. You end up jerking off and punching cops. You're like, I want to do that shit. Yeah, I can see. I mean, Ari, if anybody would have that, it'd be Ari. And I feel like that'd be like one of us. Well, the thing is, though, the guy doesn't know he's doing that. You know what I'm saying? Ari's just like, hey, I got something for you. Here, yeah. <laughs> well, no, you would hire a, a drug te- a drug. No, tester. you don't. Then you have to pay him. Just don't tell him. Just be, Yeah, you just pay him with free drugs. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's Trust me, thing. drug addicts don't want much other than <laughs> drugs. He's <laughs> such a drug addict. He just will do it for the free yeah. drugs. And, and the hang. I could die, but, you know, it's free drugs. And I, get to, and I get to hang out with Ari. Uh, dude, it's good to be back in the saddle. I missed everybody. I do think from now on, July will be a month off. Just like every year you need a little breather? A month, the, the sports are slow. It's just baseball. And it's good just to, you know, go away um, and kind of miss it for a little while. Does this mean all What's of wrong us with just, just baseball? J- baseball's great. I love mm-hmm. baseball. I watch the Dodgers every night, but it's like it's a two-hour sports podcast. We can't talk baseball for two hours. I'm going to start taking... No, we can't. Damn it. <laughs> what is that? A challenge? Guys, 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 that's been enough baseball talk. <laughs> We've talked about enough baseball already during this episode. Can we please... I'm going to start taking uh, football season and, and basketball season off. Yeah, I would no love figure. if you took football season off. Uh, I love you took your shirt off, bitch. So what are we talking about here? <laughs> what do we got, mom? Hey, by kids? the way, no, no, no. I heard your baby died. Is that true? Stop! That's Stop! No. That's you don't you say break, that. Break, breaking news. You don't say that. <laughs> you and I said it right before the show. I didn't and, say anything. And you go, about wait, let's talk about it during the show. I did say. Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I heard. Then that. I bring it up, and you're like, "Stop! Her baby didn't die. She's Stop. a competent mother." Stop. Where's your child right now? She's rolling. No you clue. Guys. That's so cute. She She's doing jujitsu. Yeah, she's doing she's jujitsu. Right. If, really? if it died, how would what would be the most likely what? for it to die? I mean, Probably I guess SIDS because poison. That's what happened? Let's she's not, not going to talk die on about my that. Dime that. If that's what or you're getting, saying. I don't want to talk about getting that. shaken to death. That. What about getting shaken to death? She by has it? that baby gee. She has a baby gee. I have to show yeah. you the picture. It's so cute. From it is Garnet. cute. So being mm-hmm. choked with a baby gee would be her most likely because there's no way that child. Yeah, she's rolling around in her gee right now. Oh, so like a gee choke out. When yeah. did this become Baby Death Podcast? Well, when you monsters talked about I'm it. I'm not talking her, about it. I just suggested that maybe your child's no longer among the living. So, so, you're, so you're raising yeah. her as a particular she gender. Like Is that it. what's going on here? <laughs> Are you raising her as a gender? You picked her, you made her, yeah. you picked her gender? Uncool. I mean, she was born with a vagina, so we're going to go with that. Gross. <laughs> So I'm progressive. You call yourself an why American. Why don't you move back to wherever? Hey, why don't you go vote for Trump again, you dumb fuck? Obviously. Yeah, has anyone seen, uh, speaking of uh, Ohio trash, has anyone seen Tony Hinchcliffe's new Corvette, which is such a, a white trash car yeah. to drive? And if it like, wasn't for those orange stripes, it, uh, I would be like, you know what? It's a cool black Corvette. But then he has these like Yeah, but orange, Corvette is so white trash. It is. It's yeah, it's a, a black nice car. But it has like weird stripes and weird spots where you're like, fun. oh, man. I'm happy for Tony. Hey, me too. I, it's a I, I know great you car. snitches are going to go run and tell him. I'm happy for him. I hope that you do. Is a side of you grew up in white trash. Yeah. When you get That's a Corvette with all the true. nice cars out there, yeah. like the new Caddies, the new you get a Corvette. Like, what are you going to cruise high schools too? Seriously. You know what I was saying the other day. Hey, babe, <laughs> jump in. Yeah, no. Hey, how old are you? Don't worry about yeah. it. I got a Corvette. Hey, you guys need a ride to the prom? <laughs> He's got a new white snake CD. <laughs> yeah, here I go again on my own. Hey, I got room for one of the two of you. 
my favorite thing is that all these young comics, and I, 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 this will be one of the last times I refer to Tony as one of the young comics. He keeps going, I'm one of the up and coming young. You're 34. He does you're say not that, yeah. that old. You've been in comedy 15 young. years. You're right, not right. up and coming anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're here. Okay, you are here. And that's from a super old guy, okay? But <laughs> I've been described as one of the best up and coming young comics. I go, by who? <laughs> Me! Who do you think, you dumbass? I say that. <laughs> Uh, I love him though. I'm happy that he's doing well. I mean, that show's doing great. It's hilarious. So great. But when I come, you see he's got a Corvette. Who still drives a Corvette? Nice. Who what was the inside Leopard? I mean, is it Leopard <laughs> yeah. Interior? Did they? Are they remaking Cannonball Run? <laughs> I want to show up in an ambulance. That's what I'll do. You know, you saying, want to bring back cool. You put in the new Fast and Furious. That's the only way Corvettes are going to be back to cool. They, well, they were, they were cool for about six months when that damn Jackie Chan movie came out with uh, Chris Tucker, where he drove that Stingray. Oh, hold on. Oh, black and yellow. I just figured that's what that movie. No, would be no I you know, mean you're talking. Uh, those those '69 Stingrays were cool for like six months. A oh, that's Stingray a different car. Cool. That's a different car. Yeah, that's, that's a, a cool classic car. Corvette. Yeah, we're talking 100%. like a new Corvette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. No. You, right? Yeah. I mean, unless it's really, it's one of those That's really like when White Trash wins a lottery, and you go, first thing I'm getting, brand, I'm getting me a brand yeah. new Corvette, man. <laughs> yeah. Black car, orange stripes, I am down. It's on the vision board, you know, I'm for buying, years. Uh, I call it the Lockhart. Okay, and that's when like a young comic gets a gig, and like they assume it's right there, it's just cash forever. Yeah, and they go buy the most ridiculous. Caparella fucking... did that too. No, dude, Freddie Lockhart what got on Frank Kellyendo's show that lasted about three episodes because it's really hard to do impersonations of people when you're fat. Do you understand what I'm well, saying? Kellyendo like, started sketch stealing of... Freddie's impressions. What? Kellyendo started stealing Freddie's impressions. How do you steal an impression? It's quite easy to do, actually. Do you, are you stealing what the, you're doing in the impression? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, but there's like, for example, like uh, 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 I had Galern before Richards had Galern. But once I started doing Galern, then Richards saw how to do Galern. You know what I mean? Oh. But if I'm the host of the show, right. and you got a good, let's say, fucking Stephen A. Smith. Which I got. And then I start doing, I hear you doing it in the writer's room. Yeah. And then I'm, I want to do Stephen A. Smith now. Yeah. Because you showed me how to do it. He was doing that quite, oh, quite so a Oh, so he'd be like, I have Barack Obama. And then he's like, I want to do fat face Barack Obama. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly right. right. Yep, exactly right. Frank Kellyhando, right. the show should have been called Plus 30, po 30 Pounds. It was every impression plus 30 pounds. <laughs> nope, nobody yeah, enjoyed yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, uh, where are you going to be? Oh, uh, me? Uh, well, I will be, just like all of us, at the All Things uh, Comedy Festival, October 25th to 28th. So please I have to come talk to them about that. Everybody I might not be there. Wait, what? Where will you be? It's a long story. I gotta talk to you guys after. Okay. All right. Well, I will be at that, and hopefully Sam will be at that too. And then in the following week in November, I will be at the Orange County Comedy Festival. That's uh, there's a festival in Orange County. A week after that, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. awesome! I'll talk to you about that after because you're you'll be in it too. I gotta talk to you guys. About and that after. I will be doing a historic uh, thing, and during that, there's going to be a crazy podcast. One-off podcast only that I will be doing with Boon Shakalaka and Dan Bilek at the same time. Oh wow! Oh shit! The yeah. meeting of the minds. I thought you hated Dan Bilek. We're working. We've worked things out. Yeah, That's nice. a little bit. Uh, I'll be at the store this week. I'm at Punchline on. Oh no, wait. I'm at the Face Punchline on April <laughs> Fool's Gold. Uh, April Fool's Gold. So I don't even know. And then big guys and thanks to everybody for the support. I'm having Tommy John home surgery on my dick <laughs> on the 19th. So I'm finally getting the elbow in my dick fixed. So. I'm so happy for Thanks, you, man, dude. Man. I'm so happy. Appreciate that. What about you, sir? Uh, this week, I am, oh, I am at this Friday night. I am at the Ventura Harbor Comedy Club with Mike Catherwood from K-Rock. Mike Tully from the Jason L Show. And uh, Lee Syatt. From uh, the Church of What's Happening Now, we are doing a 9 o'clock show there. Then the following week, Jim Florentine, myself, Kate Quigley, and Carlisle Forrester will be <coughs> doing the Comedy Palace. It's a 8 o'clock show. Where's that? It's San Diego. Uh, San Diego. Yeah. Uh, it's an 8 o'clock show. That's going to be a great fucking time. And then the following night, 
I am going to be at um, I'm going to be at the dojo doing the show again. You can get tickets on Eventbrite if you want to go to the San Diego show. It's going to be I got all new material, dude. So come out San Diego to that one. And uh, I think we should all go out to uh, Vegas for the fights. I would love to. The only date of that is the 25th. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I'm down for that. I might I might get a Airbnb and just get a house yeah. and rock lo- out. I would love to go, but you know, the baby. She's Bring the oh, baby. Oh, now she wants to be a good mom. <laughs> Bring the Whatever. baby. Whatever. We'll have Pollyanna watch You're the baby. You're lucky you have Jeff. Isn't that a movie? That's I some am. Disney movie. Pollyanna watches the baby. Yeah. And together, that's a cartoon, yeah. right? Uh-huh. Baby gets in trouble looking for drugs on the street. Yeah. Yeah. Pollyanna's got to save her by fighting off trans I mean, hookers. Technically, you could leave her in like the pack and play. What's going to happen? She might get hungry. See? Yeah. They, oh, great parenting. She'll be okay. If you are a parent, please do not listen to her. If you need good parenting advice, please. Please hit up Jeff Dennis on Twitter. Uh, I'm real quick. A lot of tinfoil hat. Wait, do you guys uh, do you have your Tuesday show coming. next Tuesday? Uh, yeah, next comedy Tuesday chaos, is another yeah. comedy chaos. So, Those yeah. are the best. They're so fun. They're the so best. hard right. to put together, and it's just getting super competitive. But I enjoy it. it <laughs> the same lineups now are starting to happen. I, have to, oh, I feel so annoying. bad yeah. hitting these people up. Yeah, I feel awful. Yeah, oh, God, they must hate getting paid and say, performing in front of a sold-out main room. Good money. Yeah. Every comic hates getting in that I call. All- hey, can I pay you to do a sold-out main room? Ah, man, you bugging me again. Yeah, but what you're talking about, okay, because I have to put a certain amount of fucking names <laughs> in there. These are people who play theaters all the time. Yeah, they're playing one on Tuesday. It's called the main room of the comedy store, and it seats 500. Okay. That's a theater. I got that. Point, Jason Tiva. You know, yeah. you've gotten good since I've been gone. You've been practicing. I've been on practicing your, a on your bit. fucking debating skills. Yeah, everyone's like Sam Tripoli quit forever, which means two weeks, <laughs> two episodes. <laughs> you missed two episodes. No, I miss a month almost. Skankfest was in the middle, so it's kind of complicated. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, technically, right. technically a month. Like total. So you guys all got paid some more cash. Somebody told me. Cash. What? What? Okay, why'd everybody get quiet right, on by it? Because we don't know what you're talking about. Because we're like, okay. where's this cash? We Next all question. <laughs> I, could, I, could really, I, I, I was like, Next you, question. you did? I looked at both of them like, what? I looked at you like, what are you talking about? I know. Um, next question. What do we This do? is because Sam got a ton of cash. He's like, whoops. I got, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, the cash I got was from you. Yeah, I pay out. Though. It really was. <laughs> I pay out. Um, so much stuff to get into sports-wise. Johnny, anything you yes. want to talk about? First oh. of all, let's get into 227 first, yeah. right at the oh, gate. The worst, devastated. I got a call to go do that, but I had a show I had to d- go call to. Call to go do what? what? Do to go, go to the fights. Oh, who, who had the hookup? Uh, my friend, Mike Tully. Oh, it Tully. was here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was that, at Stapes. We have to start going and watch these major fights going on in town. There's so many yeah, great very fights rare, going too. on. Like, they don't come here that much. You know, it's like... Yeah. I mean, dude, I love, I mean, boxing happened, Garcia happened, there were seats available, and then the UFC was there, man. It was great, dude. Uh, all three of the one, two, three, the two co-main events and then Cub Swanson, all three of the people that I wanted to win lost. Same. I was so sad. And Cub Swanson was almost the biggest surprise. Actually, he Mighty Mouse was. He has less followers than me on Twitter, you guys. Like, I'm not Who? big on Twitter. Cub, the guy, Cub Swanson, I don't even know how to say his name. He has 1,000 followers. And I was like, this is so sad. He got beat by someone that has 1,000 followers on Twitter. I think everybody. I don't know if that should. there's a real correlation between but I mean, your like, bit the fight. No one knows who he is, is what I'm saying. I'm like, eh. Dude, here's the thing about fighting. Oh, that guy's very Damn. good. Look at look good who's buddy. fighting, dude. <laughs> it's a fight. Can you believe that? Greg Hardy is fighting every bouncer from the comedy store in the last 10 years. Dude, I just can't take tits on my fighters. They just come from a guy with tits. I just can't take it. Unless it's Misha Tate. Yes. I mean, like, unless it's a chick. Uh, Guys, I can't take... Like, dad bods are fine. We'll take some dad bods. But, dude, when you got cups, homeboy, I can't take it. Very rarely are we on the same page where we always want the same fighters. Like, I was so sad. When Mighty Mouse lost. You and I? Yeah. I mean, like, the whole card. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Usually we pretty much When Mighty Mouse lost, I go, Cody's going to lose now because they've all already lost. (laughs) I was, like, walking around the apartment, like, so upset. Of of the three, Cody was the one. I wanted Cody to win. But Cody was the one where, like, you know, I could see him losing. I did not see Mighty Mouse losing. And I actually don't think he lost. You don't? I don't. But those takedowns, they take... So they give so many points for. But I down. feel like, and tell me what you guys think about this. Let's say, let's say, well, you watch the fight. Let's he gets taken down, but 
Mighty Mouse was so quick and creative of how he would get out of a takedown. I said that to my dad. But you don't get any points for that. Yeah. You don't get any point. Every time he got taken down, he took zero damage. Yeah. I said so, to my dad, so the four takedowns so that he had or whatever it was, yeah, four, I think. got we weighed so much more than everything else that he did. Yeah. Well, and they got to find a way, I think, to fix that because. I agree. It's not like he stayed down. You don't get, you don't get points in scoring for a good sprawl. Or yeah. a good takedown defense. Yeah. Or if you if you take me down and I immediately you know cage walk and we're back up and nothing happened from that takedown. Yeah. Well, I just don't want to watch like tackle. That's you know, if they're just tackling each other for points, that yeah. weight class is just weird because nobody's blowing knocking out anybody in that weight class. He has been for years. Who? Fucking mighty mouse. mouse. Who did he knock down? He knocked down that Joe Piz Pedendez or whatever. Didn't his name. he knock out Henry Zahudo the first time? I think so. Yeah. Did he, Johnny? Um, I can find that out. Johnny, <laughs> I like Johnny. He's like, I'm back and I don't care. <laughs> He's like, I'm well, still no, on vacation. He was texting. He was texting his texting his cow in North Carolina. <laughs> I he miss fell you, in Betsy. Love at home. I miss right. you, Betsy. He's texting those players from North Carolina, seeing if he's still getting those sneakers. <laughs> I don't like this Ooh, sensitive what junk. What a bomb. What wow. a bomb. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, dude, it, it, you know, this is a did, cool did game. You, you watched the fights, right? Yeah, who, I watched who, them afterwards. Who, who do you think won? In, in your honest opinion, you watched the fight, the Mighty Mouse fight. Do you think that was just a no Here's my opinion, dude. Mm -hmm. You got to beat the champ to beat the that's champ. That's the other and thing. And that's my yeah. opinion. And do you think he convincingly I don't think he necessarily took the belt? It. But right. I'm just like, Mighty Mouse is just a, I don't know, man. He's just... There's this. I get. I keep getting told constantly. Yeah, it's KO. KO. yeah. There you go. See? I'm constantly See? getting told that he's the pound for pound best. That's all I hear all the time. And you don't think he has the world record? Uh, 18 though, fight win streak, yeah. 11 title defenses in a row. Nobody's ever come close to either of those things in any weight class. For me, that weight class is like, and I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this. Women's MMA. It's Everyone just, doesn't like that weight class. I love. I personally think I it's like so. It. They're so fast and fun to watch. I love like it too. No one else has that speed. I, mm -hmm. I just think that it's not deep enough yet. Yeah. There's not enough guys in that weight class to be like this guy's the best. It's like. For me, it has always been level of competition is more as important as your streak. Like a guy who beats like a deep division, maybe has a couple losses, is way more. Be it's way better of a fighter to me uh, than someone who is undefeated in a completely fucking thin weight class. And that's what we've seen at that weight class. I hear what you're saying, but I don't. I disagree a little bit because I don't think that this division is. What it was for Ronda Rousey when there was yeah. six female fighters. Who are name name me the name me the I know we, look at it. Let's I mean, go through it, Johnny. Go, I know that you're uh, just, texting people no, right now. He's texting old Betsy his cow. <laughs> <laughs> if you just go uh Mighty there's Mouse hole Mighty Mouse's in the record. bucket, there lies a there lies a there's a hole in the, in the bucket. bucket. There lies a hole. Let's see his division. How deep is this division? Joe Dodson is like fighting like a fucking. Do you want his fight history or is yeah yeah just like his you know who, who, can we get everybody his division can we get like the, the ranking? Well, right? this is everybody he's beat. Yeah. This is who he's cleaned out. How many Hall of Famers are on that that list? Probably only him. I'm gonna scroll through this. Can you guys see it? Yeah, so, the guy that just beat him. Because he's fought John Dodson twice and Joseph Benavides twice, right? Be yeah, Benavides and I would twice. say those are the best ones. And Cejudo. Yeah. Ian McCall in him twice back to back gave him another shot. Well, he Dominic I think Cruz he that McCall. I think he fought Dominic him. Cruz twice as well. No. No, he didn't. He didn't. I don't think Cruz went down that far. You are correct, sir. Yeah. He also, did. He as, a, as a new mom, you're, you're all right. three of those fighters have new babies, and I was, just can't handle. You know. Their daddies needed to win. Yeah, well, you know, the <laughs> baby oh, Isn't it a fake mom over here? <laughs> Where's your mom. baby again right now? How do you even with know it's your dad? Kid. I don't understand. Uh, yeah, what's because wrong. he's a good parent. I'm with her all day, every day. Whatever. And I need him to be home for three hours on Tuesdays. So and I guess what? Do he's this. doing it. How do you <laughs> even know it's your baby? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, how, how do you know it's she yours? She destroyed my vagina by coming out. Who hasn't? <laughs> so, yeah. What's that called? So I saw Comedy her come Store 2009? Yeah. <laughs> uh, more like 2011, but I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, dude. I, 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 you know, it's like you know who's a pound for pound great fighter? Uh, George St. Pierre, obviously. Daniel Cormier, 
going up fighting bigger guys. This guy's been sitting here trying to just get these get this record and I respect that, but it's like you can't sit here and tell me that this guy is one of the pound for pound best when he won't go up a class and fight anybody. But then again, Anderson Silva didn't do it either, but I, I don't know, man. I it just I I, I it's a thin division. It isn't the whole saying. idea of pound for pound the that no matter what size you are you're still better than bigger guys. Yeah. Like pound for pound. You, you're, no, even the, though you have very little pounds, literally. That if they <laughs> all weighed the same, that if you put them all in a fucking cage and they all had the exact same weight, same yep. size, same weight, this person would be these people. Yep. And I, would I don't. Love to see and you literally want like them to put on, on the pounds to see that. Play. Yeah, yeah. That's what Sam wants them to do. <laughs> what you, would you say? <laughs> What do you say? Why do you must jump on Steve? <laughs> I'm just like do nothing. Like, he's just like hanging yeah, yeah. on him like a koala. <laughs> that'd be like me f- fighting Tate. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be like which I cro- challenge him to a fight right now. That'd be like the crocodile. We'll hunter. Break your ribs Crikey, again, Look out. at this. I know. We got a little one twenty five or. I love how he became Irish really quick. Yeah. I'm, I'm a... Bloody fucking... You lost that, like, 125 us. <laughs> I'm very excited for... Uh, finally, we got Khabib and Connor. Yeah. Uh, I, I ju- Khabib? I I'm not even going to watch it. That's how much I hate Connor. Oh, Why? no. That, I what think it'll be good. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I oh, no what are you going to do? Just put your baby in a dumpster and go out and get hammered? You <sighs> fucking terrible What do you mom? mean? I just won't buy the thing hold or on, go out oh, to watch hold it. On. Okay. Let's, before we get into that, can we just talk about the, the, the fight? And TJ and how Ugh. the the problem with this fight was, and the reason I don't think it was as big is because Cody just couldn't talk shit, right? And like him talking shit and hyping fights. Now I think Cody got pushed to the front of the line because and he won Dana and he beat it. Dana well because it. he's a good looking guy. Yeah. That's a good looking guy. You good could sell guy. fucking tickets. Girls would go. Gaga, that's a good looking midget right there, right? Gonna say he's very and tiny, he was like 12 cute. and 0 right out the gate with like 11 knockouts. But and that's exactly that what Dana him. wanted, like a motherfucker. Yeah, and you know, the truth is, is like Cody's like, what, five, six years younger than TJ. So it's like he still has a room to grow, a lot of room to grow, man. He's too emotional. Yeah. You know, it, with the gloves on, in the, in the octagon, he's too emotional. Like Cody. the minute he thought he yeah. clipped him, he came in too hot and was, yeah, and then he just got just bing. Yeah. Yep, again. No patience, no patience. Time? Yeah, it really was a cookie cutter of the first fight. It, they looked identical. Right. I love that women now fight like like 1920 swimmers, right? <laughs> it's the same exact <laughs> outfit. It's like Tebow on the track day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Um, she looks but like I, a chick from Game of Thrones, right? So now Sahuda is calling out Galbraith, I mean, uh, D- uh, Dylan Shaw. And it's I like just, no one cares about that. Yeah, yeah. People only want to see Mighty Be Mouse. Well, Mighty Mouse was going to do that, and then he just stole the same thunder. Yeah. Because that's yeah. just. But people care about that more because he cleaned that division, like Sam said. I don't. So Sahuda like, versus Dillashaw means nothing to me. And yeah. Dillashaw has even, like, came back the day after the fight or, uh, at a press conference and was like. I don't think he really deserves that. Also, and he doesn't. He needs a fight cruise. That's can it. I ask yeah. you why everyone Great said this means he's the greatest bantamweight of all time when what happened to Cruz's record? Like, why well, is TJ better than that? Just uh, because he beat Cody twice. Who said that? Who said that? Your baby? No, Rogan said it when he interviewed him. And then Daniel Cormier said it, too. And I was like, what Rogan, is, why I are love people Rogan saying that? I love him to death, but sometimes there's... I'll fight him right now. You'll fight Rogan? (laughs) Right. I want Rogan and Tate at the same time. Rogan's fists are as big as your head. I noticed that when we were talking to him the other night. I was like, his hands are ginormous. Yeah. Yeah. Like his fingers. Like Like this is a regular microphone for him. This is just like his whole fist. This would be like baby Mike. Yeah. (laughs) This would look like when Bob Hope hold... uh, 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 No, what's his face from The Price is Right? Bob Barker. Bob Barker. Yeah, that uh, little skinny one. But sometimes Rogan will get excited with some of the... Uh, I hope that's all it is, because I was like, that doesn't make sense. He has no, to beat Cruz. Dominic Cru- You'd have to beat Dominic Cruz and then go on a nice run. Yeah. Well, this is another example of I don't get Welcome why- to the Machida era, right? <laughs> You're like, okay, next fight gets knocked out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't get why why somebody like Mighty Mouse, who's done so much, cleaned that division out, owned the division, only person to own that belt since the division started, why doesn't he get a fucking rematch? 
Why, why would he not They're get... going to give him a rematch. I, I know, say, but he's already challenging, and he wants to move up another weight class and do all that. Because he thinks that's a super fight, and they'll make more money if he fights For Dillinger. his new baby, okay? He needs money. Oh, uh, it's got to be <laughs> so weird like... to be that size and be the exact same height as your new baby, right? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> like the baby can carry dad at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Probably. Uh, what, uh, so I think uh, what was the other and fight? The same we thing, to talk? Oh, well, the well, Connor versus. Well, a little bit, but uh, just to that same point, it's the same thing to me with Cormier and this all this goddamn hype about fucking uh, uh, what's it? The UFC Brock guy, Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. It's like, why would you not give the Stipe, Stipe yeah. who's the lo- the most title defenses in heavyweight history? Why wouldn't he get a rematch? Well, did you see that tweet? Do you see where the, uh, Daniel Cormier goes? If if. If, if he uh, can't make it, I'll give him a rematch. No, no. And he goes, if if uh, Dimitri Martin... Uh, Dimitri Martin... <laughs> <laughs> tells one more bad joke. <laughs> oh, I'm more. gonna... Uh, yeah. Where uh, Mighty Mouse doesn't get a... Uh, uh, it's something about... I'll find it real About quick. Mighty Mouse? Yeah. And it's like hilarious. Hold on. Show. DC said it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think people are warming up to him. For a long time, nobody liked DC. Because he was bad at shit talking and... Everybody uh, no, was so pro John no, Jones. The reason I hated DC is because John Jones was the the prince. Here it is, dude. This here's it? here's the quote oh. right here, right? And based on read, read this, okay. How old? Only you take right your there. glasses <laughs> off to read. I know that was like an interesting move. If, <laughs> I know. If Hang on, let me close Johnson, my eyes before I read this. <laughs> if Dimitri Johnson doesn't get a rematch, there's no hope for any of us in the entire Dimitri world. Dimitri Johnson. Okay, uh, come on, dude. Uh, <laughs> because this means you're reading it and you can't even read it right. How do I say his first name? If Dim- Demetrius. What? Dim- Demetrius. Dimitri jo- <laughs> Demetrius Johnson doesn't get a rematch. There is no hope for any of us in the entire world because that means nothing you could ever do will warrant getting an immediate rematch title. And by the way, you know who who's, who uh, put the eyeballs on that? Or no, Stipe put, hmm, weird, right? Yeah. Right? That's a weird thing for him to say. Yeah. Considering... He's, He's going to take the cash. Hey, fucking. give me that. No, 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 no. You didn't say no black rude, Oh, party foul. Rude, 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 rude. You're the rude. idiot who gave me that his phone. That was just rude. That was just rude. Come on, dude. May your braves burn in hell. <laughs> hey, that's a good look for you. What? I mean, you had the wrong glasses on, He probably doesn't know. He oh. Has <laughs> <laughs> How did you put sunglasses on that aren't your prescription? And notice that not only could you not see, but it got darker in the room. (laughs) Rude, bro. Rude, 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 rude. Let me put your glasses on. (laughs) Down in Margarita. Johnny, take take your dog and get out of here. (laughs) Uh, Connor versus Khabib. Uh, Khabib is opening up as a favorite, but let me tell you. How close? Uh, I'll, you gotta look it up. Let's go to Bet DSI. Bet DSI for all your bet needs. That's a great place to put some bets down on this thing. Put some bets down. Make that cheddar. Use the code Punch Twenty Five, and that'll give you twenty five bucks to bet with. And I tell you what, now is the time to bet. A- NFL's right around the corner. I'm very excited, as everybody knows. I'm excited about that. Baseball's heating up. We'll talk about that next week. Uh, no, we won't. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but um. Use the code PUNCH25. <laughs> Use the code PUNCH25. And that gets you 25 free bucks to gamble with from our good friends at BetDSI.com. Get the app. And uh, we're trying to still working on tr- uh, with our good friends at BetDSI because they are also uh, sponsors of our good friends at uh, Legion of Skanks. I wonder how they got that sponsorship. So do I. And, they need um, to hurry. That fight's in three weeks. That fight's in three weeks. And we're, we're going to see our good friend Ryan O'Neal possibly beat the tar. Oh, what's of, your take on that? I think Ryan O'Neal beats uh, Lujitsu J. Gomez. That's I, what I think. I think it's going to be interesting to see. We I, were we were talking about uh, him being like a minus one seventy five, maybe minus one fifty, close, but not that. You know, who's, you, who's you? O'Neal being a bit uh, favorite? I mean, I, I think I think it's going to be O'Neal. But it's going to be interesting because I think it's going to open up with a fury. Yeah. And if nobody gets knocked out, it's just going to get slowed down until, like, people getting tired. When, I, when we were at Skank Fest, a lot of people, that was one of the bigger questions that I got. The two questions I got the most, well, three questions I got the most. One, is Sam really gone forever? Two, uh, are you sure Fight Nanny's baby isn't uh, black? 
And then the third one she that I got. very black. There everyone, go. everyone there. So she black. looks like mulatto. She <laughs> does. And then the third question I got was, like, who do you think is going to win this fight? And I go, the difference between the two is Gomez feels disrespected. Gomez might be angry and emotional. And he wants to punch and may possibly even hurt Ryan O'Neal. He's excited to be in a fight. Why does he feel uh, disrespected? Because everybody's saying that he can't win and, every, and a lot of shit talking going back and forth. Right. The difference is Ryan O'Neal doesn't give a shit. He's just happy to be in a fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like O'Neal's been fighting. He's been in a zillion fights. Gomez has never really been in one, and he's mad and wants to like defend his honor. O'Neal's like, I'll fight anybody. Really? I'll fight? Sure. I'll fight. You know. So that's kind of like, like Ryan what, right now is in like, because he's how old? Forty now. Now, mind you, yeah. also he's forty. Yeah. I think this will be his peak physical that he'll be at, and after this, it just goes downhill. You I want, can't maintain this i want to no, see them both without shirts on so first because i i still am not convinced Lewis they're Gomez fighting is in with shape. shirts off right and, and of course oh, yeah. but that, I, what are they though, fucking 1920 I swimmers I still well, actually, without a shirt on. but if you do yeah didn't um gomez say he wasn't gonna take a shirt off well the, well yeah, i think he, that, said that. he always says that yeah, yeah so but that, he takes a shirt off every day in a selfie i would Instagram, respect so. if he did ask him why he did it well that's the thing the other the other reason i i would make him a little bit of a favorite is like when we were in brooklyn we would do a podcast and o'neill was like all right i gotta go uh, I'm gonna go. go train. I, I gotta go train, and I'm I got a mile and a half on a run. Lewis is like, and Where's Gomez the acid? is like <laughs> chugging like whiskey out of a bottle All with no day chaser. Too. It was impressive, and on acid. So he's <laughs> and mushrooms. He was doing everything. Yeah. Yeah, he, was like, he was like walking so with I think those there's CBD a, gummies. He's like, CBD, anybody? I think there's a little bit of a focus uh, thing going on, too, that, I would, that would make me skew towards Ryan. Behind but every be great festival, there's a great woman who runs it. The girls had to like keep that shit oh, going. Oh, you mean East Coast Dana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah keep that's keep everything. Funny. That's like I'm going. calling her East Coast Dana. She, had the, the, had she would just snap at people. Hey, I need you to figure And yeah. people would do it. Yeah. Yeah, you had to get the ladies going because everybody else was on acid. Yeah. I didn't do acid when I was there. I wish I did. I haven't done acid in shit. Polly. I love that people now just hand me shrooms. 12 years. Yeah, I just love right? it. Right? It's like normal. Yeah, they're like, hey, dude, here's some shrooms. I'm like, what? Okay. They thank give you. it to me too, and I give it to my brother. I don't, I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah, I wouldn't trust it. You give it to the baby and let the baby just <laughs> I've you, never I done drugs. Trust. You know, it's like, what? I've never done anything. I always so just like, hand them to somebody real? else. <laughs> that's, that's You'd have like move. one drink from like Punky, and you'd be like, it's like oh three days. Oh my God, Punky tries to kill me. No, what I do at the comedy store. I go, I go, give him the wink and then I go, take care of Dana. That oh. means heavy pores. Two drinks <laughs> oh, yeah. for Dana. She's like, Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the only way to yeah. calm her down because yeah. she'll grind me the whole yeah. fucking night. What? <laughs> I'm like, Dad. You're kidding take me. Take care of Mama. Take care of Mama. And they fuck, put her yeah. down. I love put it. She's down. intense. She really runs that place. She does. I just like, I'm like, nobody's ever going to talk to me here again at this fucking place. They're like used to her now. They have that, the crew for us. Like, it's like Hormos, Jen's niece, and it's like, they know who knows us. Us and like how to deal with us, yeah, but, but like, like other door guys are home? like scared like, of her. Yeah, yeah. go home, go home. Dana's yelling at people. Connor versus Khabib. Thoughts. These are the odds, by the way. Okay, okay. let's hear it. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. These are BetDSI's odds. BetDSI for all your bet needs. Go to BetDSI.com. Use the promo code PUNCH25. Get 25000 bet in cash. Big bucks. No whammies. <laughs> McGregor is a modest underdog at plus 155. Okay, so that's, that's it's almost even. The favorite is at minus 185 Khabib. Um, thoughts, guys. These I mean, you obviously guys. hate him. I really won't watch any press leading up to it. I will not watch the. Fight. It'll be fantastic. I, I think know. he's That's lame. Like fun. I don't find him entertaining. That's the. I just fun. get more and more angry. Yeah. So if Khabib wins, it's going to be all over the internet, and then I'll watch the fight. I don't need to hear the like beginning hype up stuff. You're really not going to gonna watch the goddamn fight. When is it? When's Jeff will be on the same page. 6th? Jeff hates him more than I hate him. October sixth. October sixth. Fuck. Is that right? Oh, that's yeah. closer than I thought. Yeah, it's it's right way soon. Yeah. That's way soon. Yeah, it's like, holy shit. Do you think that this Two is months. Months, yeah, eight weeks? If you were Conor McGregor, would you be fighting in UFC again this soon? Yes. Yeah. It's two I years. years. I would have I would have taken that boxing thing into the ground, dude, because he was making I would have done a rematch but he has with like Mayweather. A tiger Baker. already, like where he said yeah. he's already dude, like blowing through his and he's, money. Yeah, he's listen, dude. Because what but but what I'm saying what is makes he's gonna great lose, is he's MMA. probably gonna lose here. And what? then all that stuff goes away, all the other stuff, I think, if he loses. I, I disagree, dude. I think Conor McGregor's at a place 
where he puts on such a show. Like, it, win or lose, loses. it doesn't matter. If I mean, like, remember when I got over. yelled at by everybody where I said he's going to, he's actually going to get bigger after the Nate Diaz loss? And I was like, you're fucking stupid. And he just kept getting bigger, man. It's not wins or losses. It's like battles, man. You got to have ba- If he goes out there and gets wiped with fucking uh, Khabib, then it's not going to look You think this will be a battle? I think it will yeah. be, dude. This you know is the toughest fight he's ever had in his life. Yeah, but you know what, dude? Honest to God. But that he, doesn't mean it's going to be a battle. No, no, no. He's great at getting you to fucking play to your weakness because he makes you, almost calls you out like, you know, oh, he's never going to strike with me. He's a fucking pussy. He yeah. won't fucking oh, yeah, strike Khabib with me. I remember Khabib was like trying to strike with Ally Quinta. Yeah, the and whole he's going to get... And it almost cost him a lot. And it's going to cost him if he fucking fights here. If he does that. I mean, he should just get Connor and put him down but there's something about connor that gets you to fucking fight the wrong way in the light i mean dude the, everybody's gonna be all over this fucking russian dude interviews 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 it's a deep 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 waters man it's deep waters and that's why i think connor has a psychological edge yeah i mean like dude let's take psychological a edge Absolutely. So, like, without question, he has that edge, right? So, Khabib. Oh, Khabib's fought. Re- but remember, before that, Khabib was down like two years, does, just kept yeah. getting injured and injured. Does and Khabib injured. seem like a guy that ha- is affected at all by psychology, though? Not I mean, too much, but he yeah, seems like a like guy a, that might not be able to make weight. That could be. No, he'll do no, for this, no, though. I think. No, I think it there's is, somebody. He's had problems with that, with that though. Listen, yeah, dude. Sure. If somebody's in your face talking mad shit to you, and like you're not used to that, that fucks with your head when you when you're used to staring at somebody and you see them just kind of like break down and that doesn't happen that gets in your fucking head look at everybody look at look at fucking jose aldo who was this guy won for a decade fucking that is a straight. classic example of where connor got in somebody's head yeah he and did get in aldo's head big time right so it's like he made him fight this fight rush in and get knocked the fuck out in two yeah. seconds it's like he's it's like war game. That finished Aldo, though. I mean, he was done after that. Well, he's, yeah. he's he had a big fight since. the That's other day. That he might have been done fight. before that, though. He needed that. And you could see in his face how emotional he was with that win. That He was like, Dude, I needed this, or I might have been done. That fight is It's like you fight. bombed two times in a row, which is rare for all of us because, you know, we've been doing it for so long. But somehow you bomb two times in a row, and you're like, I don't need, and with all your new shit or something, like... Man, if I bomb again, I might, I don't, I, I might be done. I might just, maybe I should just be a writer or something. And then when you kill, you're like, I needed that, man. Oh, thank you. It's, you know what I mean? It is fucking weird. It's like that. It's, I mean, he needed Aldo needed that win, and you could see emotionally on his face. I mean, he might have even been crying after that win. Oh yeah. Do you know where the the what room <laughs> in L.A. is like the mind fuck room, the small room at the Improv? There, it's oh, like yeah. somebody mm-hmm. got raped or murdered in that room and they haunt it. The lab. And it's mean? like you come out, it's like, what? Crowd's gonna be here. And you walk in, it's like fucking a room full of like fucking first generation Iranian immigrants. And you're like, who's gonna enjoy this fucking That's, show? So you know what else can be like that a little bit? The dojo. Yeah. Because oh, I, yeah, sure. I can go in there and it's packed and you're like, fuck, man. And, but then you go in there and there's like six people. Yeah. It's and the lineup's great. Room. You're like, shit. Steven Glickman did a show. Not one person showed up. It's like, it's a weird room, dude. I mean, it really is. Uh, oh there is no rhyme or reason to it's it It's a either. gorgeous room. It's just it. a room that it just, It's a great room, but we're do, there's we're no rhyme or reason to. We're without any help, and it's fucking rough. But I'm enjoying it. <laughs> uh, so I t- I'm going to take right now Connor on that fight. <whistles> oh. I, it almost might be a little too early for me to... And by the say, way, I could, uh, I'll just say this. I don't know. It sounds like I'm making an excuse. I'm not. I'll take Connor right now as well. What? Uh, I'm leaving the show. <laughs> man, he's been gone too long, man. When did you I get bet here? your baby takes Connor too. Baby oh, like she takes What if Con- she ordered the fight and you me mean, and her dad are just so pissed? We're like, how did this get on our you TV? You mean Jeff's baby? <laughs> but I could easily change that in the next. And this is one of those fights where, please, God, please, please, the gods of BetDSI.com. Don't let anybody get injured or anything happen to postpone this because everybody has wanted this fight for two years yeah. Yeah. and it's finally signed and it's finally it's here. It's one of those fights. It might not happen again too if it gets postponed like a couple of times. Uh, like don't let this be, a, don't uh, let, don't let this fight become the Manny Pacquiao yeah. Mayweather of MMA. 
don't make don't keep moving this thing around for two years and then it just never happens yeah so i hope to god by the by the gods of betdsi.com use the code punch 25 um <laughs> that nothing bad happens with this now i'm equally as excited for one of my good friends and I, you know i'm sorry if i seem a little tired i was hanging out with my good friend last night till almost 2 a.m Nate Diaz also fighting. She in fucked September. her brother. I was like, are you going to bring this up? She yeah. fucked her brother. I did. The, yeah. <laughs> so that's that, even that better true. friends. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, I mean, but no, yeah, I'm not friends with, uh, you know, her baby's daddy. I'm friends with uh, his brother, and uh, he's fighting in September. And who's he so fighting? So he is all that, like, controversy. Por Poria. Did you see how he said the next day he wasn't fighting because he was disrespected because the UFC doesn't respect him? Well, the funniest thing is, the That's funniest just thing the is. the Diaz brother. I know, but I was like, Nate, you just he, fight. He <laughs> also said, hey, I, I ain't going to be on that fight, dog. I ain't going to be on that card, dog. It's like, you're he not. He said this to you? No, 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 no. He said oh. this. I didn't talk to him anything about that fight. Oh. I say congrats on getting another fight. But we didn't really talk. You know, he, you know he's going through. What did you guys things. talk about? Yeah, what did you talk? He, about? Well, <laughs> the cool thing was he. Uh, the coolest part was right when I first saw him, he goes, "Dog, your hair's long," and I'm like, "Yeah, he remembers me." <laughs> that, is, that is cool. <laughs> I know. I I swear to God, I felt like a fucking twelve year old girl that yeah, was hanging out with I fucking new like, oh kids on God, the block, and they remembered you. Um, <laughs> and then uh, uh, Chappelle was there, and he was with a, like a entourage of fighters. So I got them all like Hold a. On. I got them. Chappelle was with fighters. No, no, no. That's how I thought to him. Like, wait, no, what? Diaz so was. Nate rolled up with Chappelle. Diaz was, and he wanted to see uh, uh, Chappelle. So I got them all like a booth in the OR, and they just sat in there and watched Chappelle do like two and a half hours. I think Chappelle's still on stage right now. Yeah. Right. Very on. interesting because back in the day, nobody cared that Chappelle was doing those long sets. But lately, people are like, dude, get the fuck off stage. I want to go. Like, well, yeah, people uh, like dread it. They're like, oh, I'm on a go Monday, home. which is he likes to pop in on a Monday. And by the way, if anybody's in Los Angeles right now, I can almost guarantee you Chappelle will be there tonight, too. Almost guaranteed because I was talking yeah. to his driver. If they're not there, will you give him a thousand dollars each? So everybody I shows will, up. I will suck your cock uh, with a thousand dollars. Do you think people are? My, I'll line my throat with thousand dollars and I'll oh. suck your cock. And when I'm done. All the money will be wrapped around your dick. And you now, can do you think home. people are hoping uh, for or against Chappelle being there? Do they want to see Chappelle or do they really want that fucking thousand dollar blowjob? I'm willing to bet they want the thousand dollars. <laughs> or as I call a million paper cuts on your dick. Which one do you want? <laughs> I'm willing to bet they go, they're going paper cuts. <laughs> paper cuts. I, I'd much rather take a thousand dollars than... Imagine having all paper those paper cut cuts on your dick, dick and uh. you put on your underwear. You're like, ah, 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 thousand dollars. Ah, ah, you can't even get a lap dance. She's grinding. You're like, ah, ah, ah. Uh, you know what's cool that Chappelle does? His driver is like super cool. That guy's awesome. And uh, so I just talked to him. He's always happy to see me. And he stands in the back of the room. Stands in the back of the room. He loves his little brags. I know. He's a great guy. But he always stands in the back of the room. And all he does is hawks it. And anybody that's recording anything, he grabs the door guy goes, that guy right there. So all he does is like hawk people recording Dave's shit. Yeah, I get it, man. I, I did a bit that I was working on on Rogan once back when I got to do Rogan. And... Uh, I, I did it at a show with him and nobody laughed because I could hear him go, huh. They're like, oh, they'd already heard it on the fucking podcast. And it was a great oh, bit. It, so if you're going, to, well, the, it was the bit. It wasn't the bit. It was the fucking how hard. Dude, you know who I saw you're, the other day murder? <laughs> what, what is that? It's your looks, you <laughs> fuck. You know who I saw murder the other day? Duncan. He's got like a new 10 or 12 minutes that murder is so tonight? fucking funny. It's not cool. So funny. And by the way, big congratulations to our good friend, friend of the show, Duncan Trussell. Having a baby in January. His, his Nobody wife. pulls out anymore. You know why? Because the comedy boom. I was thinking about this. You think the comedy isn't having a huge boom right now? First of all, every comic is having a baby. Yeah. And second of all, the parking lot at the comedy store on Saturday looks like a Porsche dealership. It was like that on Six Nobody Porsches. Was talking about Six that. Porsches. Remember back in the day? How when many was, of those people are in Rogan's fucking tree all of them too. all of them yeah but remember back in the day when it was a, need a, to do a story on that. it used to be jeff scott's car uh a rowboat tommy's piece of shit uh, tommy's piece of wall. shit a rowboat and like uh, they'd be working on a float for the gay pride Dude, parade remember when that I was used to all coming was in a there. fucking chariot i'd have a chariot and oh i remember when those Asian, those uh, uh Egyptian people used to carry you yeah those are rickshaws those are the good days when i had a rickshaw now it looks like they a goddamn have i haven't seen one of those at all yeah. luxury car this dealership was before you came i used to go to a rickshaw yeah in the comedy they store. used to call him the, sammy the rickshaw i used dribbling. to get bobby lee's dad to fucking pull <laughs> his brother 
<laughs> they are a little closer to the ground. It's a lot oh, yeah. easier for them. To That's why Asians are great with rickshaws. It's their little legs. It's also why so many drown when there's like typhoons, you know, because they're just. Okay, dude. We'd like to issue an apology. I think that was too soon. How, when was the last time there was a giant typhoon? Five, six years ago? Yeah. The memories are still fresh. Okay. God damn Of all damn the it. offensive things Get we say. Get the fuck how, in how the I lobby. I know, dude. What the hell's going on, Johnny? Johnny, <laughs> what happened to you? Did somebody diddle you while you were gone? Wait, uh, no. Uh, it, no. Did your count text going on with Johnny joke? right now? What's no. going on, Johnny? Johnny let it out. Nothing's going on. No. No. Nothing's going on. You're what very sensitive. Last night, very late. Very oh. late. Tonight. When did you get in? Johnny hasn't slept, guys. Like we know, we know yeah, how Johnny is when like he four. hasn't slept. That makes him hate Asians? Jesus, he goes they're to bed people. At like 7 a.m. They could so be he's, Asians, he's but they... He's running off like two hours. They could be aliens. He just needs a nap. He needs a nap. Johnny, you need a nap. And a baba. He needs his baba. John, do you need a baba and a nap? <laughs> well, I'll, why don't we just, I'll let you go with one of the best parents at the table. Sammy, help <laughs> him out. Help him out. Suck out my nipple. Yeah. <laughs> You're lactating too? Yes. Oh, I'm constantly good. lactating. Is Jeff breastfeeding? But it comes out like fucking, it comes out like yogurt. I'm like TCPY yeah. nipples. It looks like silly string. Yeah, that's how it goes. Do you, if you don't. <laughs> If you don't do it for a while, do you get like pressure build up where you can like yeah. get some distance? Is that? Yeah. And actually, How far could like, you I spread a, milk? I have a pump in the car and I actually left it in my rental car yesterday and I had to call the dealership today and I have to go How pick it up. What an embarrassing walk of shame when they like. Hey, hey ma'am, we, we have uh -huh. your, we have your We're, breast yeah, pump here. Like, we have your titty pumper. Like, <laughs> no, that happened. I, I have a worse one. That happened to me. So uh, speaking of devil. I have to go get it later. I left my flashlight in a rickshaw that I rented and I had to go pick that up. They're like, here's Here's my porno scenario. You left your dick pump. Forgets titty pumper goes to place. Guys are like all n from the like assholes need, from the nerds. You need a hand. Hey. Like that. <laughs> oh, you want this back? Prove it. <laughs> what? Prove it. Oh, <laughs> pump these. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I get my pump, I'm gonna need to pump them, so I might do that. What genre was that? Would you say that is? <laughs> that falls under reality. Okay. <laughs> 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 Reality. <laughs> Have you gone? To, you haven't gone to pick it up yet. No, I called this morning and they're like, "Yeah, we can get it." And I'm so, like, are you having like a build up, like a pressure, like a high I pressure will situation? I will by the time I get home because it's gonna be like five hours. And I'm what really if she nervous. She showers about it. and dresses up to go get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeff, if I'm not back in an hour, do not text me. <laughs> um. Oh, speaking of dressing up, I, I, what night was it? Sunday night, dude. I don't know why that night there was just a bunch of wild chicks at the comedy store. Like it was wildlings. Mm. Sunday was, night? Yeah, it was just like all girls dressed like Chris D'Elia was there, but he wasn't. And they were just there with wild in their eyes, drinking. That's cool. They're not, yeah. Sometimes it's just like you're like, something's in the air. Yeah. Something's yeah. in the it's air. It's definitely a young person's place. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You go there, you're like, if you were 26, you could be slamming right now. I, I think I told this story on, on, on the show before, but I was talking to a girl who asked me how old I was, and I told her, and she goes, my dad's that age. Oh. And I was like, bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. That was my cue. I'm just like, okay, well. So you and you be safe tonight, young lady. Yeah, I mean, like, back in the day, now I just want to sleep. Do you give your real age, Sam? Uh, I do. That's a no. <laughs> that, like, I, do. Five I, do. Pause, I do. You, know. you do, I, I, I or do you do. don't? No, yeah. he doesn't. I do. You pause, like, what's the point? What's the point? Because eventually they're gonna. I would. Out I anyway. would round to the nearest like ten. Is, I think. <laughs> what, you round right up? up to no, like, like uh, down, you, down to the nearest. You, 10. So you round down to twenty. <laughs> I'm thirty. How old do you tell people? You tell them your real age. Yeah, I do now. But I'm saying if I was. Same On grinder, do you put your real name? <laughs> if you're a Sam, you go forty. If you're a Sam, yeah. you say forty. Yeah. Um, hey, so dude, I you, round up to. 16. I do a joke about you know you're old is when your fake age is yeah. old. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> yeah, like, You're that like, how old are you? Uh, forty. Oh, you're old. I know, I'm like, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, because I can't fake thirty anymore. <laughs> I can fake forty, but I can't fake thirty. A lot of people do that, right? Like, still, like hey, you look great for forty. What? A lot of comics do that, right? Lie about the reason. Yeah, like Steve Rudazizi is still 38. I mean, like he's been 38 for a good 10 years, I think, now. <laughs> Boon Chakalaka was 39 when I met him, and he's 39 20 years later. <laughs> I was like, you were 39 before I was 39, and then you were 39 after I was 39. <laughs> That's a white semen, yeah. yeah. He's, 
what? regimen of white what? semen. That's oh, he talks about it all the time. He says it keeps him young. I've heard him talk about it. He says he says it's good for his skin. White semen, good for his skin. So white guys are beating off on his face. I don't know. I don't know. It's only like good for acne, not like anything else. Does he have? I like how you heard like you didn't do active research for fucking a good decade. Seventy-two. Seventy-two. So he's got yeah. acne at 72. Yeah, it's I think not helping with wrinkles. He's 71 or 72. If it helped with wrinkles, I would do a facial like that every Wouldn't day. Wouldn't that be great if there was actually a place where <laughs> like 71? you could just get melt because women needed it? He's 71? Face. He's either 71 or I 72. I would have never guessed he was I How old so. would you have guessed? Like 55. Oh, no. What? He's Absolutely. in great shape for his age. Yeah. I shazammed a song Someone that I heard him say. Someone tried to tell me Dom Barris was 55. No. no. Yeah, 55. No, no way. How old is Dom Barris? 45. Oh, no. No, no, no he's no. got to be in his 60s. He's 60s? You really? can't tell me. No you way. think Don's in his 60s? He's, well, I know this. He's he's the same end. age as Madonna because they Jeff graduated in high this, school together. Yeah, Jeff always does this math, too. And then he's like, he came out in the 80s. He's like, that was like 40 years ago. How old's Madonna? 30 years. How, how old is she's, Madonna? She's yeah, 40 60, years. maybe? Something. They they graduated high school together. The same high school. Mm -hmm. Don Bears and Madonna went to high school together. Oh, he's 59. Oh, go. my God. <laughs> Don't tell well, them you it's know like, this, though. He'll it's like William, William Shatner. Look at this guy now. There's a thing you can do. You can get fatter as you age and stay young forever. Watch. Look how old he is. You know what I hate? And his face. He's, He's 87 years old. William He's, Shatner's 87? 87. Look at his face. Yeah. Well, dude, the guy's had a privileged no, no. life. He, he just gets fatter. That's his move, man. He looks good, though, for 90. Yeah. Fuck. I didn't know he was The that guy's old. 90 years old. Dude, he could totally bang 60 right now, right? He could be like banging 60. His hair's fake, but that's that's the Nobody only likes that guy though, dude. He's still really? on Twitter. Yeah, like dude, he's notorious. He looks such like an alcoholic right there. <laughs> Look at that one. Yeah. That's like I don't think crush He's 90 years but old. If you if you get that old and you're still a rock in it, you deserve you can drink and do whatever it's drugs amazing. you want. Dude, there's uh, uh, what's the old? chances of any of us making 87? Johnny could I mean, I, I, what about me? I don't do anything bad. I probably don't have 87 <laughs> days left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to live to be a thousand. Yeah. You're, 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 you're going to live during the zombie apocalypse. You're like, kill me. <laughs> I just want to get my brain uploaded to a computer. You're going to go all the way like, and especially like once you get divorced and your kid won't talk to you anymore, but it, because your <laughs> baby's daddy is such a good parent, yeah, you'll live very a long time. My yeah. mom should live forever. She's never drank, never did drugs, never smoked. She's going to be a thousand years old. How's her health now? What is she probably 70-ish? She's great, yeah. She's mm -hmm. 70. She's wonderful. I love her. See? That, those are words your baby will never say. <laughs> so mean. No. Well, you really Shatner have the cutest available baby. Available on Spotify. You really have the cutest baby. <clears throat> you have the cutest baby, baby. Mm -hmm. You have, Okay, Kovalev. He got knocked the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, dude. He got knocked down three times. Did you watch the fight, Sammy? I did. Yeah, I mean, it, the, dude, I watched it afterwards. I didn't. Dude, I saw combat sports is a cruel bitch, and you lose, you lose a fucking sliver of your speed. Now he's lost it's three. The difference between and life especially. and death. He got old so. after that second ward fight. Well, he's lost Maybe three of his one. last five, I believe. Well, two one of those ward. was bullshit. The first, and the first ward, ward fight was bullshit. And that's bullshit. what I mean. So he's really only lost two of his last five, but in my still. opinion. But, but everybody's he, saying he's done. He used to have a great chin, though, and now he doesn't. Yeah. That, that's, I think... I he's kind of becoming the uh, Chuck Liddell yeah, of yeah, yeah. light heavyweights. He's not quite there, but yeah, that's totally where I can see it going. Was this on Saturday? Yeah. yeah Saturday, was. yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about and now this. this is a guy that's good friends with me and Sam and everybody because yeah. he sat right in front of us at a yeah. Clipper game. Yeah. And yeah. I, the funny thing about him is all these Mexicans kept coming up to him at a Clipper game and right after the first ward fight and they kept coming up to him and asking to take photos with him and he's sitting right in front of us and he had an entourage of people with him, probably his whole fucking camp. Oh, and Sam says to me, hey, who is this guy? And I didn't want to say his name out loud. So I just. I don't looked think him up I online. Said that. I knew Kovalev was. I looked him up online and I just held up that's who it is. And you're like, oh, okay. You know when you go Did down. Did you say his name like incorrectly? That? No, that's 100% what happened. When you go down like this. Boom, look at that, yeah. dude. Yeah. I when mean, you go down like that. That's that's really when you got that up. weird like your yeah, arm is back it. like a fucking like that, right? a, a deer just shot. I mean, Did I he just win like the championship. Yeah. yeah. This guy? One of. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cruel bitch. He beat old. He looked old. I mean, he's a little. 
He's, he's, he's up there. He's not too old. But though. he's like been the shit forever. But not forever, but for a long time. He started. I think he started late. Time. He's 35. Yeah. So, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, dude, getting, he's it, getting there. Yeah. It's a cruel, cruel fucking world, dude. Boxing. And again, I mean, it's kind of like, like Chuck Liddell. Like once your chin goes, when you're known as a striker and you're a knockout artist, once you start getting knocked out, it's if you're not a finesse fighter. Yeah, like a Mayweather, a guy who just yep. doesn't get touched. Yeah, if you're a if you're a stand Sam, and bang. Can you say that third name down for me? <laughs> third name down. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Yashla- real? D- How does anyone know how to say that? Yashislav Shabransky. <laughs> Yashislav Shabransky. That's someone's fighter. fucking name. Oh, that is true. Yeah. What if wherever that guy's from, that's like Joe Smith there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, old Vyash. <laughs> I'm looking for Yashislav Shabransky. They're like, which one? One and another. Yeah, come on, buddy. Be more specific. Be specific. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's Are they Hampton Shabranskis? Yeah. <laughs> Hampton Shabransky. Uh Can we talk about that, like, Showtime, I think, is just starting to destroy HBO and boxing? This was an HBO fight. Yeah, but it's like Showtime's putting on great Showbox. fights. Well, pa- Paulie Malignaggi, I think, bringing him over helped a lot because he's – they didn't – for the longest time, I didn't like their commentary. You know, and I think Paulie Malignaggi is really good. But they're good. just putting on more fight. You don't see a lot of HBO fights. Like, Showtime's just going hard. It used to be the gold standard. Yeah. And now it might not be. Yeah. Yeah, right. they... How about this? You want to hear something crazy? LeBron James has a show on HBO and Showtime. He's on them both. What? Like, what have are the you, shows? That's like being a blood the same and show? a crib. How do you do that, dude? What do you, if anybody the, could. The same show or two different? No, one is he's his barbershop the... show, and the other one is his dumb fuck show that he's doing called Shut Up and Dribble, which is like based on this Laura Ingram, who's a cunt. Oh, complaining. Yeah, yeah okay. and then, of course, Donald Trump. And like what people are like, I just see HB. I just like, dude, they should just sh- sh- do a show on ESPN called Fat Chicks Finger Blasting to LeBron James. Because all they're just like, oh, LeBron's just taking on fucking uh, Donald Trump and he's not putting up with it. And LeBron's like, yeah. And it's just like, they just f- DJing their vaginas, their f- fucking an, cows what an the whole idiot fucking Trump time. Is, by the way, what they're all idiot. idiots, dude. They all play to each other. Trump they is bu- the king of all the idiots, though. LeBron loves this shit, dude. He loves it because you know what? LeBron has been a fucking elite since he was 14 years old, since he showed that he was a fucking grown ass man. He was a fucking next level basketball player. He had everything fucking set for him. So he has to have these moments where like these fucking kids in the inner but city. But a lot of people that Johnny Manziel had everything set and he didn't handle it well. There's a lot of people that no, had but everything my set point that is, didn't handle it he well. He needs these moments to make him relatable Here to the fix. fucking kids in the inner city. So now he's having <coughs> this fight. The, all the kids in the inner city watching HBO? That, <laughs> no, my point is that these giant fights he has with like Laura oh, Ingram yeah. and Donald Trump plays to his base. He fucking loves it. Just mm. like they fucking love it because it plays their base and they're like, yeah, man, tell those fucking pro, those spoiled brat pro athletes what did you to see? shut the fuck up. In the past month in baseball, three guys had pitched great games. Yeah. And then, like, immediately, before their, the word of their almost no-hitter went around, they're getting rammed on Twitter for shit they did in high school on Twitter. Yeah, and what's stupid <laughs> I mean, is, like, one or two times. of them were just rap lyrics, yeah. right? It was Sean Newcomb for the Braves, it's Trey so Turner, and uh, this Twi- guy pitches for the you Brewers. You know what Twitter's become? It's Not only it's the tattletale of the yeah, internet, it is, for it's sure. become the kid in the back of school that's like, and like you're in the back of the class, and like you're like, hey man, fuck this test, Mrs. Johnson. Yeah. Um, yeah. he just said the f word. That's what Twitter's become all of a sudden. Yeah. But you can't do anything good. You have to like, okay, wait a minute. Before I pitch this no hitter, do I need to delete any tweets from high school? Yeah. Because that's they just they're like, who who who's doing that though? Fuck like, everybody. Oh, this guy had a no hitter. Let's go look and see if he fuck said. He I, I want to get famous or do something to get like famous, and then I'm just gonna like at my press conference, I'm gonna go like. I accept this movie role, but before we shoot it, I'm going to kill myself because you're all going to find out that I've said some crazy things that I didn't mean on my podcast six years ago. Oh, yeah, dude. You know what I mean? You can't even run for public office here. They, Although, oh. really, <laughs> no one on this show can run for anything. <laughs> no. Well, we can run from the cops. That's the only running we'll be doing. You know what's so funny is you could tell that skank, the Legion of Skanks have started to get big, you know, because like I love those they're guys. going after like the creek in the cave. Yeah. For putting yeah, on yeah, all their 
their podcast there and it's just these white beta cocks are like I can't take it you're saying meanie shit and did you see the guy the thing that Lewis posted where the guy was supposed to come on the podcast they were supposed I to have a conversation that, yeah. he's like fuck you I ain't coming <laughs> I'm in jazz at the park with my friends I'm yeah. like dude you just went next level fuck face not only are you calling out people for jokes but now you're at jazz in the park like I, there's they, dude if they dropped a bomb on anybody at jazz in the park I I would not shed one fucking tear. Go fuck yourself. Sam Shipley does not like jazz. I, dude, I'm going to say this back to sports. I think the Lakers are in trouble. This shit that LeBron James is doing is the exact reason they shipped out fucking Blake Griffin. And I'm not saying LeBron, Blake's on LeBron's level, but when you have that many fucking other things in this town, dude, dude, you've, we've all, you've sold TV shows. When you have a TV show going, dude, and you're pitching, he has like two plus movies. That yeah. consumes your fucking time. Yeah. Some of this stuff That's had it. to be worked out before he left Cleveland, right? Like, come on, you don't get all this stuff done. And it's been how I will, many years? Like, dude, it's like, like dude, he's got to have known he was coming to L.A. for a long I'll give time. Him he did. Yeah, up. absolutely yeah. did. I'll give him kudos for that school that he put together, though. That's, oh, for I think sure. it's awesome. Is that in Cleveland or is that out here? Do you know that's, that's in Akron. 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 Like, Akron. dude, the students get everything and the parents get fucking training for it. It was all that was on ESPN that day, dude. It was like the day of the Hall of Fame. Well, it's also a slow time in sports, but ESPN just loves sucking any ESPN, dick they can get. I can't watch If there's it a dick anymore. anywhere near ESPN, it just shouts in his mouth, so More right. cock! Oh, God, God. <laughs> Fuck ESPN. <laughs> I just can't take it, dude. Sucks, yeah. ESPN sucks. And this whole thing with like people getting mad because they're gonna they, really hurt the UFC, and the UFC already is going down. Oh yeah, in my dude. opinion, I, I, ESPN's they dance gonna with the fuck devil. that up. They dance with the devil, signing with ESPN. These guys can't stop smacking their chicks, dude. That's all it's gonna be. I UFC mean, fighter smack shit. They're gonna get rid of all these fighters, and then they get Greg Hardy. Dude, Fox was perfect for them. Not that Fox News is going to look away, but Fox News doesn't like do this slander. Greg shit. Hardy has hit more women than Ronda Rousey. Yeah, <laughs> good point. <laughs> Come on, dude. Stay with great. me, folks. These are the jokes. <laughs> These are the jokes. Um, uh, I mean, dude, it's just unbearable. Like this whole thing about, uh, oh, my God. They edited out Kaepernick's name from a rap song uh, on fucking man. John Madden. The guy hasn't played in two years. You know why? Let me just say this. I'll tell you why they did that. And I know it looks bad. And I'll just say in their defense, he wasn't in the NFL. Yeah. And they thought they were going to have to pay him licensing fees. Yeah. And they didn't take it out because of this conspiracy thing. Uh, and I know Anthony Johnson is going to go nuts about this. But this really is the truth. They thought because he wasn't in the NFL, he wasn't part of the uh, uh, Players Association. Right. And they're like, hey, we have to take his name out because otherwise we're going to have to give him royalties. Yeah. That's and, really and all that really was. he didn't was. play in the NFL. He's not playing this year. He's not going to play again. I don't think he'll ever play again. He's never going to play again. I don't, not He's because, chosen not to play again. Not because he can't and not because he doesn't have he's the skill chosen. set. I think this lawsuit and everything that he's doing, and I do think, he was blacklisted. And I do of think of course he was. I do think they'll be able to prove that. And I do think there's going to be a settlement for this. Yeah. But I don't I think that he doesn't wanna you know, it's like eventually you're just like, I, I don't want to work for you. I don't want to work for you, but I do yeah. want my money. I yeah. do want to be compensated. But well, that's the damage, my life. The damage has been done. The damage has been done. And uh I don't want to play with your fucking shitty or organization. Do you guys think this is gonna be in the news all season again? This yeah. Year? Dude, Absolutely. Listen, you Trump know who makes sure this? that it is. Do you know who wants it? The owners. The owners make money in fucking oil, in uh, uh, he uh, hedge funds, tech. Uh, they run giant corporations that are getting more and more deregulation, more and more tax breaks, more and more shipping jobs out of the country. It was they only love until the last this two fucking shit. Up until the they're last the ones two years. pushing this. The NFL didn't have to pay taxes until the last two years. They, they're pushing this, dude. They That's are. Crazy. They make, dude. The NFL, their teams are their side bitch. They make the side money on that shit. Dude, the real money's in other shady ass shit. Why are they pushing the Kaepernick thing? Man? What? Can you explain that that to me? I pushing just don't quite what? understand. You're saying they're pushing the Kaepernick story, keeping it in the headlines this year. Yeah, why, why, I don't why, think they want to get people happen? fighting with each other. It's nobody's paying attention. All the bullshit going on. Oh, oh, oh see, more deregulation of banks, more deregulation of this, more fucking I bombing think, I over here. I think the here. NFL wants wants the Kaepernick thing to go away. 
I do too. And the kneeling thing. Because I think it's they, hurting I'll, our ratings. I, I think, think it's hurting their ratings. I think these owners are fucking, they see that the NFL, most of these guys are 80. They're just trying to make every fucking, uh, they're trying to make every dollar they fucking can. Well, one thing we know for sure, they care this about breast cancer. This helmet rule is going to ruin the NFL. Yeah. It's going to get even worse. Well, I tell you what, I, and I wouldn't mind talking about that because the, we, ha- we, we did have the Hall of Fame game, which is, in my opinion, the most boring, meaningless of all preseason games of all sports. You know what it is, dude? Every goddamn preseason game is the worst one. It's like the fat chick you see when you just got out of jail for 30 years. You're like, look at that. Yeah. So uh, fucking like, sexy. Let me hit that fucking beauty. Because you just yeah. want a like, game so badly. You know, the, gate, the gate opens and yeah. there's just one girl. Like You're, you're going to see more girls in about <laughs> 10 minutes. But yeah. you're like, oh my God. <laughs> Is that the real Nell Carter? <laughs> oh, yum, yum. Give me some. <laughs> like, no, no. Give it 10 minutes. There's like a bunch of girls right around the corner. <laughs> but they ain't her. <laughs> it is like that. Yeah, yeah. It is a lot like that. <laughs> it's the most boring and meaningless game of all the preseason games. Mm. And we got a little taste of, little what, taste. The, of what the helmet rule is going to look like. A little taste. Five or six <laughs> calls. Five or six calls. 15 yards. It's a game-changing <laughs> call. It's ridiculous. And it's going to add... 30 minutes to every NFL game. I think they'll learn how to not get penalized, though, right? Well, they almost have to make that reviewable. Yeah. No, because I mean, it's such a fast call. they just ruin the game if they make you that rule. Here's what's going to happen. They've like, already made two the years rule. ago, in two years ago, or two or three years ago, the N- there was a game, there was a rule in the NBA that they tried in uh, preseason, which was if you, if you touch the ball after it goes through the hoop, you get electric. It's a delay. It's a delay of game. And they were calling it all the time because people would smash it. They'd grab the ball and they'd hand yeah. it. They'd be like, penalty. And they're like, I- I'm just giving you the ball. You're like, you can't touch it. They stopped calling that during the season. That's yeah. a dumb Because it was just yeah. like, it was just too much. So if this gets to the point that it's just unbearable, the, the, they'll just let it this go. This is another. Have you guys been following this? This guy, Roquan Smith, was holding out because – in, yeah. they're, the the owners now, the, Bears. Are the the general managers are trying to put in the contracts that if they get suspended under these new rules, they don't have to pay them for the right. games they're suspended. And the, the, the players the obviously are like, what the fuck, man? Come on. Yeah, it's stupid. These owners are going to run the thing into the ground because the lawyers, the lawyers are going to ruin this game. Yeah. I'm and sorry, what is the rule? The rule is... The helmet rule? Yes, please. I was going to ask, but I was if like, you, I bet they've been talking about this the whole time while I've been zoning If out. you, if you... <laughs> If I, it used to be you can't launch and you still can't launch with your head. But if I initiate contact with any part of you whatsoever with my helmet, it is a 15 yard penalty and automatic first like, down. Like headbutt? Yeah, because people yeah. like almost would weaponize their helmets, and I get that. But, ne- but And they're saying it's protecting both players. Yeah, isn't that more harmful for the person doing it? I feel like, why would in you essence, do, it's yeah, also problematic for the guys at the line who automatically come up and they're right in each other's faces. You know, what this I mean? is more like, just yeah. like point of contact tackles. But no, but those are going to be fouls too, though. They're, they're saying they'll, now, they'll these rarely guys call that coming at the line because uh, they'll was, they'll rarely call that. This is always going to be uh, uh, catch. You know, whoever has the ball, and because even if you're a running back, I can't like truck you. I can't like lean in and right, fucking right, right. hit you with my helmet and right. run you over. Right. That's also a 15 yarder. Going, but going the other way. It's but they call it many a rules. lot during that preseason yeah, game. because they're just getting super excited. And, and then eventually they're going to see there's going to be giant pushback. And, I mean, dude, they're going to have a fucking strike. And these players are going to fucking, you know, what are you watching, dude? No, nah, it's, it's, uh, ignore that. It's the No, I will not. <laughs> I will not ignore that. It's gone now. I want to. I, I was going to show you the rule. Uh, it's just stupid, but. dude. And like, they're going to strike, and they're going to have to fucking try to get all these rules thrown out. Well, all it really is is this. For the mm-hmm. last three or four years, there's been all these players with CTEs yeah. and it, pretty much fucking uh, Lou Gehrig's disease and all these different head traumas that have been from 20 years ago. Like, people that were players when we were kids are now killing themselves, and they can't see, and, you know, fucking Jim McMahon has to wear sunglasses and can't remember anything, and... And they're like, hey, we got to do something to protect these people's heads. So now they're coming up with all these new rules. Take off the helmet. To make it look like uh, they care. Yeah, and I, I kind of agree with the take off the helmets thing, but then somebody dies, you know. And oh, well, dude, look look, look at <laughs> fucking rugby, dude. Australian football. No, you're right. Yeah. It's violent. How many, look how many deaths. Can you look up deaths from Australian football? Look up. Uh, crunch those numbers, Doc. 
crunch those fucking numbers. I mean, I don't think removing the helmets is the answer. I do. It's dude. a different sport. Deaths. It's How many di- deaths? It's a on field deaths. There's your list. Okay. When was the last one? 1971? Yeah. Well, hold those. on. Some of these are in car accidents. So yeah, yeah, now. yeah. So it's like... That's just a list of everybody that died yeah, in Australia. That on- That's every death in Australia, Johnny. How many of those are kangaroos? A dingo. Put on dingo. <laughs> how, many, how many babies were eaten by dingoes? Okay. No offense, no offense. I saw a baby bear get hit by a bus the other day in Monrovia. In live? You saw it in real action? In Monrovia, where what? my family lives, there's lots of bears. It was so... That's the worst story I've ever the, heard in my life. I know, my family was like, what do you mean? This is the worst news. I thought it was like a big German shepherd. Uh, I don't want to hear it. No, Why are you ruining this? Well, wait. So when God, I passed no wonder your baby's it, I don't, fucked I don't up. know if it's okay, because when I passed it, he was moving his head, but nothing else. And I was like, oh, oh my you God. You just let the bear sit there? No, no, no. The, like, the animal patrol was already there because like the bear was in the neighborhood so they were already monitoring it okay. and it got hit on a where was the mama bear I've had to push I, that's what I down. said wow. it's gonna be pissed you want that job no, I grew up on a away. farm I've had to do all kinds right. of killing animals yeah I've been googling it oh, trying why? to like and you leg. make like just straight up eye contact with me the whole time you're like yeah man I kill a lot of animals you know that's right, uh, right that's you. the first first you stage in a serial killer's life yeah look at this fucking guy horses cows Horse? Yeah, they break their legs. They, they can't be fixed. So. Oh, Why? Okay, Why haven't we invented to fix the leg like a for the fucking cow galloping through the fields? <laughs> like, it, it, you cows could probably do it. Oh, I mean, millions horse. of dollars. <laughs> I mean, galloping. Cow. Why don't we just make a giant air cast? <laughs> yeah, well, they they they'll kick it. They they kick it and then just shatters the leg. There's so much force on the leg of a horse. Like oh. when they swing it. All right, Debbie Downer. They now I know the way to get to all of you is talk about. I beat a dolphin to death with a shoe. How'd you, do, how'd you do that? I was underwater. Are you going to go see Meg, the Meg? Oh, yeah. I, I want to see that. It looks scary as shit, right? Dude, well, you, I'm afraid of the ocean. I want to pitch a show to Shark Week called uh, Shit Your Pants. And it's like we show somebody a shark for the first time. We just watch them shit their pants. And that's Dude, that's it. You know, yeah, I, I would watch that show. I saw a shark the other day. <laughs> You're like, yeah. Scared the shit out of me. I saw a shark the other day. I was getting in an elevator, and there was a fucking shark in the elevator. Was there water in the elevator? No, it is, was just flopping around. I was like, I'll, I'll wait for the next one, okay? <laughs> <laughs> My Uber driver last night was telling me. He, he that he ran a over of, a baby bear. He bought a bunch of red vines, and I'm like, oh, okay. And he's like, yeah. And then, and then the next morning, I took a red shit, and it was just, what? <laughs> my, yeah, my Uber driver. You're eating <laughs> plastic. I gave him. It's a, literally the worst. I rated him Do great. You like red vines? I'll. No. What? Okay. Oh, I almost geez. got the file right there. <laughs> what was that? No, I do not. Red vines? Why are you so angry oh. about red vines? Dude? I yeah, fucking like, hate I've never people seen who that. like Twizzlers red vines. or red vines. Twizzlers all day. There's not even a question. No. Aaron. Red vines. God, what are what? you? What? Are you serious? Are you yeah. fucking I think that's serious? That's East Coast West Coast thing. You though. fucking asshole. Maybe, hey, maybe that's why him and his wife can't get pregnant, right? Yeah. Everybody, oh. stop eating that fucking plastic and doing I'm anal. Called. Okay. Right. Th- this girl can't stop eating Twizzlers and she can't stop shitting babies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so uh, so we got what else do we got? We got uh, what are we thinking about football? Urban Meyer. I was gonna Urban say Urban Meyer. Uh, Ah, th- I th- tweet that we're going to take calls. Tweet I think that, that there's a calls. little bit of a, I think there's a little bit of the Twitter tattletale thing going on here with this. I think a little bit, uh, and this is what I was saying to you last night about this. It's, it comes down to this Shady McCoy thing. Now, here's what a, happened with that? Did it come I, out? She was, she's uh, full of shit. No, no. Here's what, re- this is the lay of the land on the Shady McCoy thing. And then you guys can make up your mind about it. He, his gr- his lady is squatting in his house. He can't kick her out because of legalities and like he has to get a sheriff to come by and like a victor and all this. So he legally can't kick her out. He was loaned by a jewelry place, a bunch of expensive jewelry for an event. Right. That unless I give it back to them, I am on the hook for like $80,000 worth of jewelry. So he says to her, uh, we'll figure out this house situation, but I need that jewelry back because I got to return it. Otherwise they're going to charge me 80 grand. And she's like, Fuck you, N word. That's a that's a gift. That's a gift. That's mine. I'm keeping the jewelry. Whatever. Oh, what they a get into bitch. a fight about. It. They get into a fight about it. Here's where perhaps I'm not saying he did or didn't. It might be a giant coincidence that the guy that broke into her house and beat the shit out of her only stole those four pieces of jewelry. That's why it looks guilty as shit. So if I'm shady, I go, hey, listen, beat her up, don't beat her up, whatever. I need these jewelries back. 
beat her up. Don't beat her up. That's on you. How about don't beat her up and get my fucking jewels? But also grab a VCR, grab a couple forks. Don't just only steal this thing because there's a text messaging proof that I was looking for these jewelry back, right? The, the problem is, is that women and, and men haven't done it yet and maybe some have are weaponizing breakups. They're weaponizing a breakup where it's like, look, if I'm a gold digger and I'm fucking trying to kick it with this celebrity, NBA player, basketball player, rapper, um, whatever. We, we got to get him Blake Griffin. And, 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 oh yeah, let's do that. And if, uh, if let's say you're leaving me, you're going to leave me. I'm like, I know it's a contract here. If you leave me, I'm going to fucking go right to, because I know all the trigger words to say right. that you've done this, that, this, this, this. And people believe it now without, uh, there's no trial. Right. There's no trial anymore. Right. It's just you're assumed automatically guilty. Right. And that's what, I mean, weaponizing breakups is what people are doing. Hardwick. Through Twitter, through everything. Example. Hardwick's a great example of that. No, Hardwick was even worse because he was broken up with her for years. Yeah. And she brought this out because she had a movie coming out. Yeah. And I hope the only movie she can book after this is Donkey Shows in Tijuana. Good yeah. on AMC Actually, did give him that. the show back though. I was really oh, surprised. Oh, NBC that. and AMC. NBC did too. Good for them. Good for them. I don't dude. know if Nerd. I still think he's out of Nerdist. If I was him, crazy. I wouldn't go back to Nerdist. Fuck Nerdist, took, man. I mean, his, fuck Nerdist. His website. I hope they take a what? real shit what? for that. Aaron, I didn't say a word. You did say something. Uh, Shady McCoy. It's I just mean, like you can't. I would say fuck Nerdist because you know ATC for life. Oh, ATC of course. for life. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, I. You know, what, dude. It's just like the, these chicks, they get this chance to fucking win the lottery, and when it doesn't work out, they want to scorch the fucking earth. And, you know, you you know, you know, want to find out uh, who runs society, the rules of society? Look at gold diggers. The fact that it's okay to get pregnant by a pro athlete to try to get child support. Uh, it's okay to fucking squat and to fucking be like, no, nah, I'm keeping this jewelry. Dude, women run society. It totally is. This is just a way to fucking make money. The fact that you can try to get pregnant and also so you get child support for fucking 18 years is un fucking believable to me also good like good like stand up men like bri- f- getting knocked up by broke dicks you like, know what I'm well, saying like, she's, like, she's like I can't even get a ham sandwich out of this <laughs> good, shit like good like you know who else I believe should be running things is like really good honest like single dads like Jeff Dennis for example like that's a if good if I was a pro athlete I'd be the first power gay and I would just be banging twinks until I'm done playing and then I would bang fucking hot chicks after that so that you'll get none of my money can't get anybody pregnant you see what I'm saying I dude? would just go for see fucking saying? bang the, power the Nell twinks. Carters I'm just like the fattest <laughs> ugliest chick that just is grateful that I'm even a, a, you know oh you don't think she'd want money dude freeze your semen get your get snip snip go to town that's dude like, that's the move Derek Jeter it yeah absolutely give everybody absolutely herpes. yeah I go the other way I give everybody AIDS that's illegal. What's that? <laughs> this is illegal. Not in California illegal. anymore. Wait, what? You you can't get charged if you give somebody HIV. So, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Knowingly? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, well, that's a weird reaction. Oh, interesting. You almost sounded like. That's like no, when you talk horrible. to like you're like, oh wow, maybe I might get maybe I'll get in the AIDS time, game. Time to update the Tinder profile. <laughs> let's you're, go. You're the one saying you're gonna spread it. Let's go. Uh, let's look hey, at Blake Griffin quiet. and how <laughs> fucked he is, man. Blake. But, I mean, th- wait, what is it? Three hundred thousand dollars a month? A month. A month. Wait, what? How much? Three hundred thousand dollars a month in child support. That's what she's getting. Yeah, like three and a half well, million She got two year. kids by him. Oh, two? Yeah. And she already has a kid with that ex football. Well, then that that makes sense. Hundred fifty thousand dollars a child a month. That makes a lot. That's of sense. just her tipping money from Matt Linehart. Like all the stuff we could get with that. Like, what are you doing, dude? We my mom. Ra- my mom raised story. two kids and probably made up to three hundred thousand dollars over like ten year period. Right. You know what I mean? And raised two ch- kids that turned out totally normal. <laughs> <laughs> one did. One did. The other one. Oh, my sister's fine. You well, don't have to throw her on, This the headline bus. says, no, Blake Griffin is not paying $258,000. What? Me. That's what this headline says. Uh, I yeah. mean, I haven't heard him dispute it, and yeah, I've heard it in several different reliable How sources. How rich is he? Well, this is Yahoo.com. That that's like Dude, he's ma- paying max bit. 35 mil a year. Yeah. So he loses She's three like, of that. Oh, I Wait. fucked up. <laughs> I, <laughs> Darn it. Why am I doing this show for free? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> bah, fuck. 
Brit is paying thirty two. No, she's paying. He's paying way more. According Details to TMZ, he's paying thirty two thousand dollars per month, which is a lot better than two hundred eighty nine thousand. That's so much money. That's all so much. That's, yeah. that's what people make in a year. What yeah. thirty two thousand? Yeah. That's more reasonable to me. That's a car a yeah. month. I that, was thinking yeah. that. I'm like, you could get a new car every month. But that dude, <laughs> and she does. <laughs> Listen, the whole thing that they do that is go they go. For shit. What would be this kid's lifestyle? If they lived with them. So yeah. $32,000 a month sounds like a lot to us, but that isn't when you think he's making 35 mil. That's with the, well, I don't even have yeah. uh, sponsors. Doesn't that have to keep going though? Like it's not based on his income, like in the future, it's based on his income when they were together, right? So when he's five years down the road, Like in still- Canada, you get fucked, man. Yeah. Let's say you met, you're, you're on a TV show in Canada, you're making fat money. And then you get have a kid, and the bottom drops out. You still have to yeah, maintain right. that yeah. life. That's what I'm talking they don't about. Don't adjust yeah. it. No, it's re- not fair. Yeah, because women w- make the rules of society. That's how it is. Men just are like, yeah, whatever. Just give me a beer. I want to drink a beer. Whatever rule you want to pass that law that you get 75 percent of everything I make for the rest of my life. Okay, fuck whatever. Just give me a beer. I want to go to sleep. I want to watch Sports Center and hear fat chicks talk about LeBron James. Okay, here you know it's just like guys just don't give a shit anymore. And then you got these guys who start like these like men's rights movements. Everyone's like losers, you fucking creepers. You know they just they're like guys guys deserve more respect. Everyone's like even the guys are like shut up and get me a beer. You know it's just yeah. it's just weird. So thirty two thousand seems more reasonable to me. I mean, I don't want to sound sexist, and I hear everything that you're saying, but if we can get back to the day where we could slap women, I would. <laughs> <laughs> so much forever, and then they can't fucking vote. run for mayor. <laughs> that sound bite's gonna haunt yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, like I want to run for mayor. You know what? I'll run for mayor, and I'll, my first proposal is bring back slapping women. <laughs> That's my campaign promise. Do we? Uh, should we take calls in a couple minutes? Why not? I tweeted one right it. now. If you want it. We got one now. Let's take it. We got a call. Hi, you're on with Papa Birds. What? Yeah, with Papa Birds. What the fuck was that? You're on the air. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Stop running the faucet. Hello. Hey, fuck face. Hey, fuck face. Good to be back. It's so good to be back. I don't think that was Is just Sam to Tripoli? you. No, dude. No. Is Sam back on? No, he's not coming back. Killer impression though. Thanks by for tuning in live. Yeah. Sam's not coming back. No, he quit. What do you? Are you having a stroke right now? And I'm talking to you and him. <laughs> what are you fuckers talking about today? Why don't? I, okay. Yeah, Ari would. Why yeah, Ari Ari would have not is like, somebody's drunk dad calling? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, let's like recap yeah. the whole show for yeah. you. Who, 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 who calls call and is not listening yeah. to the show? Though? That's yeah. a weird move. Someone yeah, yeah, just yeah. saw a number up and yeah. called yeah. it. Like, Hey, well, hey. Like, let's, let's, let's run down what hey. we've been talking about. What are you talking part. about? What are you guys doing? Hey. You guys having a podcast? Do you guys think the Lakers make the playoffs? I do, but barely. Yeah, I, I don't think this is going to go well. I think the Lakers I've, fucked up by not trying to do whatever it takes to get. What sucks is that. Why, Leonard? We have to talk it. about the Lakers. For the next four years, every day of my fucking life. Instead Dude, of baseball. It's not even. <laughs> and, and football and baseball and everything oh, that's wanna... happening. UFC just happened. And still, all night last night at the comedy store, I'm hanging out with my good friend Nate What's Diaz. Fucking Laker, Laker, Lakers, Lakers, Lakers. I'm like, it's not even basketball season. Give me, give me a fucking one month breather where I don't have to talk about the fucking Lakers. One month. We had a lucky 15 months where it wasn't. We didn't have to hear about the Lakers being great all the time. Guys, call in and talk about the Lakers with Jason. Please Peebo. don't. Peebo. If you call in and talk about the Lakers, three, we two, are three, hanging up on you. 323-282-7424. Three, two, three, two, two, seven, four, uh, two, four, if seven, you four. say the L word, bye, Fish Lisa. Bye, Fish. <laughs> he, he had a stroke after How quickly? that. Fish Lisa? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bye, Fish Lisa. How quickly yeah. did that turn, by the way? The Clippers were kind of entertaining there for, what, five years? Yeah. yeah. Did you what? see that? Yeah. Uh, you know who's never entertaining? Over. The Hornets. They suck a dick. Did your you, owner what, suck? Where, what? What are you getting on me for? Yeah, because oh, because you brought it up. The Hornets suck. I'm we have Jerry that West. Dynamic. You have Mike Michael Jordan. Guess who's gonna be good? Us. You guys suck. By the way, do you know who up. I hate? Aaron, you want some baseball? I'm taking a stab at everything. Fuck 
Dave, Dave Roberts, man. That guy is, Dodgers might not make the postseason. They are he's the Think worst. about that. He's been it's given everything. He's been given everything. Yeah, he's been given everything and he Certainly. just wants to be like him and Andrew Fear like, I'm so smart. I'm gonna everybody gets the play. I'm like, dude, baseball's about rhythm, man. Yep. You can't get in a rhythm yep. when you don't know if you're playing or not. Okay? Kiki, you're you know, gonna play first base. I've never played first base. Uh, play first base, you know. And then he goes and plays for his face. It's, it's like it's funny that a guy who manages who didn't play regularly might have that opinion. Oh, yeah. dude! Whoa! Yeah, I just took a shot at Dave Roberts. That's Roberts. some you heard deep it. shit. Dude. You heard it here. You say like he's just trying to. Pl- it's like when a clean comic who sucks wants to build a comedy club that the only does clean comedy, and then it ends up sucking. Because like they just wanted to create a, a place for their comedy to shine. Are you saying Dave Roberts is like that? He's creating a place where young Dave Roberts could have played more. <laughs> Maybe. Whoa, that's some deep Dodgers shit. Dodgers might not make the postseason. Yeah, dude. With that lineup and that payroll, yep. for shame, for shame. But they got rid of that joke, Lauren, Logan Forsythe. So that's great. Oh, uh, dude, I like the guys they got. Yeah, it's yeah. just like you got, dude, dude. Stop playing Muncie. Stop acting like Muncie's this guy who's got to play every day. He's not. He, like, dude, let him come off the bench. There's a guy. Dude, I've never seen a baseball team in my fucking life that fucking you can't tell me who the starters are. Yeah. Who are the starters? Yeah. There's two guys who start every time, and they're the two new dudes. Everybody else is, like, rotated in and out. It's like we don't need that. Nope. Bellinger at first. Fucking the new dude, Dozer at second. M- Machado at third. Turner, when he can play at... F- at f- Breaking news. S- what? I, I'll be at the belly room Saturday at 10.30. Hey, that's a real... What is it? Date yeah. out the game. I was Just on an it. epic baseball rant. Just got it. Breaking and news. now it's done. Breaking news. Fuck. I tried. I, why don't they put Taylor back out in center and Machado at short? And get Turner I, right. I'm with you, dude. Well, if you want to keep Machado, you better put his ass at short. Yeah. He's not gonna I agree with that. Well, like, dude, real quick. He's not hitting well. He's not hitting well at all. I mean, like, we're, we're going through it. But you fine. can't... Get in a rhythm. They're telling us we got murder row. Look at our batting average, dude. Nope. There's like no guy batting 300 in any of the Dodgers. Any. Nope. Matt Kemp's yeah, the closest. Was surprising, yeah. And Kemp, he's Kemp fucking shit so in the bed. Whatever. Is he, he sub 300 now? He yeah. was like oh, 295 last night. Wow. I mean, that's like before you took into account. Dude, it's like, dude, let people play. Let them get into a rhythm. When, dude, who? These guys go for 21 fucking runs. The next day, Three of the guys who had two home runs aren't even fucking playing. That's what stupid. are you doing? That's Mike Matheny shit right there. Yeah. That's fucking dumb shit, man. It's like, fuck, dude, there's rhythm. I get that you do in-game analytics. It's ruining the Dodgers. Yep. You ruined the fucking World Series by putting the giant Asian in that got shelled in Houston. Instead of going with Alex Woods, who had another great game against Houston. Alex Woods can pitch against Houston. It's fucking ridiculous. Fuck, even I can't right stand now. that Muncie's on first. It makes no fucking sense. It just makes no sense. It just makes no... Bellinger should be there. Turner should be up there. Okay? It yeah. just makes no yeah. sense. I mean, Kemp's not a starter anywhere. Kemp hasn't been playing well. Let him sit. He wasn't even supposed to make the team. Why do we act like we owe him something? He got him one more all-star game. He could fucking feel good about himself. Yeah. Send him back to fucking Atlanta. Give us Coberson back. You don't want him back, believe me. Guy, what? The guy sucks. Coberson? Yeah, you told me he was great, man. Coberson's great. He's been mediocre. God. I can see uh, why he's a rotation player. He's best a, best hitter in baseball right now. Uh, who Matt, is? Matt Carpenter. Who? That's true. Matt yeah. Carpenter. Mm. He's Matt raking. Carpenter. Carpenter. Matt Carpenter. Carpenter. For who? Matt Cardinals. Hey, Sammy. Hey, it's Matt Card. Guess who hits me up all the time now is Matt Card. <gasps> She's alive. Yeah, tell her to call in. Yeah, where is she? I don't know, man. Where does she hit you up? Twitter? Yeah. yeah I like how you're like, I'm not I know. sure. But I I've talk heard, to her every day. When, when did she hit you up? Yeah, she liked one of my photos about a month ago. Yeah, she likes me. <laughs> we well, have her, hit it. have her hit us up. <laughs> um, man, he's almost got 30 homers, huh? Wow. Yeah. Dodgers are fucked. Uh, dude, Dave Roberts. He was hitting 140 in May. Yeah, he was in and such a slump. 282. Yeah, well, that's what's called that. What, what Ma- M- Michael Jackson called the Jesus juice? That's what happens when a manager lets you play through your he slump instead of juice. just pulling your ass out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 
Well, when the the Cardinals suck, so everybody gets to play. Hey, hey, so. You know, I, you know what I'm really not liking this you know who uh, suck. utility players pitching. I think it makes baseball look bad. You know, it'd be even cooler. Fan from the stand. Fan from the stand. Well, dude, they, you're talking about that 16 inning game. I'm they talking gave about up. it all the time. He gave up, dude. Roberts gave up. He had Rich Hill warming up to come in, and instead of you know instead of he just gave up. He brought Kike Hernandez and let him pitch, and it was like home run derby immediately. Kiki, Kiki Vanderway. Kiki Vanderway. <laughs> Remember that guy? Yeah. Kiki Vanderway. Just waving so the white funny, flag, man. Dude, that's so funny. That's so fucking funny. Did you guys see Eric even care about Terrell Owens's separate Hall of Fame thing? Not really. First of all, the fact that Ray Lewis is like someone put out all of his stats and at the bottom was two murders, you know, like, dude, just babbling. Like, did he quote O.J. Simpson in his fucking thing? Did he? Like some said he like he was just rambling, you know, it's just well, like, he he guaranteed that his speech would be a minimum of 20 minutes, which is already like, good God. Oh, dude. And then, and then he had, black comic ran it. But then he, oh, did he ever? He didn't even stand at the podium. He was walking back and forth like Dane Cook. He looked like Leslie Jones when Leslie yeah. would bring up the do With the towel. Like, and the oh, towel. Lord. <laughs> Lord. It's got to be the worst sport, sports-related event to attend, right? Any kind of Hall of Fame. No, so. I'm not, no, dude. I mean, it's full of everybody who loves these guys, so oh. it's got to be fun to see your friend. Like, if you're if, if Tebow was getting an award, it would be so, hilarious to see him up there just fucking I'm ranting. i talking as a fan, though, not at, like your friends are up there. Hold on. Let's say, let's say, so what's boring. your favorite team? Let, I yeah, let's say I can know. What is it? Well, let's say Ju- 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 Julius Peppers. Julius uh, Peppers. Could, the guy's uh, he's mildly retarded. I would not <laughs> let's know say him. Cam Newton. <laughs> who's your all-time going favorite? in the Hall of Fame? Right. Who's your, <laughs> NFL. Who's your all-time favorite? <laughs> let's player? say NFL player. Yeah. yeah. Steve Smith. Why oh, that'd right. be him. great, Steve you Smith. No, say, I'd still have, I have no interest in sitting there for 30 minutes watching him talk. Ice up, ice up. He just talks about icing Ooh. up. Yeah, no, because they all try to get serious and talk about their family growing I have no interest. If I could have uh-huh. gone, the only Hall of Fame I wanted to go to was um, Patrick Ewing's. I just couldn't make it. I was going to go to that to see him get in the Hall of Fame. I would listen to him talk. Uh, where is Because I'm NBA like, Hall the whole time, be like, dude, he, he's got a Jamaican yeah, accent. That's I all know. I do. With the whole, the uh, NBA Hall of Fame? Where is that? Yeah. I know? think it's the, uh, they don't call it the NBA Hall of Fame, right? It's the Professional Basketball Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. You, your shirt right there makes it look like it's like you broke out of a gay prison in fucking 1930s. I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the 40s. <laughs> uh. You know what's crazy spring, about spring, Springfield, you know uh, how I Massachusetts? Bro- you know how I broke out? Oh. I tied a bunch of condoms together and climbed out the window. <laughs> Used, of course. Yeah. Uh, I'm kidding. We didn't use condoms in prison. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy about Ray Lewis's speech is he ended it with, Bye, Fish Leisha. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Fish Leisha. Aaron coming in strong. Bye, Fish Leisha. You know, I say that because I tried to go, Bye, Felicia, in emojis, but I, so it's just a hand, and then fish, and then Lisa. Got it. Why is there a, what's it? There's an emoji for a Lisa? No, I just type in Lisa. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're like, uh, who is this Bi- Lisa that got her on emoji? The story emoji? just crashes and burns. <laughs> Five fish Lisa. We got a call. You want me to take it? Yes, let's take right, no, it. I guarantee uh, this hi. can't be good. You're on with Punch Drunk. Hi. Hi. This hi. is Casper, the Danish ghost. Hi. Casper, the Danish ghost. Hi, Casper. Are you a big uh, fan, uh, of, yeah. fan yeah. of fan of Morton Anderson? Are you a fan of Morton Anderson, the oh, fellow what? Dane? Of course I am. Of course I am. Why do you sound automated, you know, doesn't he? Hi, I am a that's Danish ghost. How are because you? Because I'm watching the live feed on on uh, YouTube and I it, it's delayed. So uh, I you got know what's so funny I've is been he trying tw- to call he, in for five hours. So. He's been oh, tweeting Aaron. us like he tweets every <laughs> like I feel like I know this guy. Yeah, right? I feel like he's our friend. He's always tweeting us. Never thought he had this accent, right? I love. Of course he does. You know, it's so like never in a million years. It's like Patrick has got Jamaican accent. I like. I didn't know he was Jamaican. No. Until like last year, honestly, I had no idea. And he was a coach of the Hornets. For yeah, right. <laughs> Casper, what's up? What are you up to, buddy? Casper, talk to us. We rooted for your I'm fucking just... country during the World Cup. Yeah, I we, lo- we lost a lot of up, money. Man. I know. We should have won that game. We should have won that game against Croatia. I don't know what happened. It was, yeah. I'm not over it. <laughs> I'm not over. Are I'm you bad. just beating uh, your women still? Mm-hmm. Is there a lot of domestic <laughs> violence? Uh, no, 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 we're not. We're not. There's not because no. have you seen their women? They beat them up. You have to. I think they you have got a promise to, to do the fantasy draft podcast for Patreon again. Oh, we will for sure. We have. We, we're going to talk about that today. We're kind of running oh, out of time. Oh, that's a great point, about. man. Glad you called in. Look, it's so the, the funniest thing. What everybody loved was that. 
from the first pick, you're like, fuck! <laughs> fuck, there's nobody left! God damn! Every exactly. fucking pick, Triple was like, God damn it! <laughs> See, that we never should have done exactly. this. <laughs> now there's only 31 <laughs> quarterbacks left. There's only 31 quarterbacks left now. Fuck! <laughs> Every was, pick. The fact there's some, someone that Dana is shouting at uh, at Johnny about like some coasters or something. <laughs> it was really funny. I, I love how you brought up Dana. So, oh, Dana. Oh, yeah. So yeah. is that yeah. is you U.S. Are, football she, big out there? Do people care? Is it only you? No. Uh, well. Well, soccer in Denmark is really, really big. Right. Uh, that's our net. Of course. But American but football, football. American football is also it's gaining. The last, like, 10, 15 years, it's been growing a lot. I miss so NFL Europe, right? I think we're like... Good. Yeah, NFL Europe was great. I, I don't know that, why yeah. they got rid of it. What time of the day do they, are are games on there? In the NFL games. Uh, the first, the the early game is at 7 p.m. That's the first one. Oh, wow, that's great. And then yeah. the late... No, that sucks, man. I gotta go to fucking work. So the late game is like two thirty eight a.m. It starts. Two thirty a.m. is the so, wow. <laughs> That's tough, dude. Yeah, it sucks. So yeah, you almost yeah. have to record them and then listen to them later or something. Now you all, you brought up an yeah, interesting point, exactly. which I'll, I'll try to do. I can't promise anything because I know how busy this guy is. But Theo Vaughn is a big uh, fantasy guy. Is He's been he? playing for three years exactly. now. And and Casper brought up a point. He messaged me on on Twitter, and he goes, "Please do the draft again, and make sure have Sam on the draft podcast. But can you also get Theo on that podcast as well, and have him be in the league? Yeah, let's get Theo so in the league. league. Who's in our league? I think it would be. We have to decide it. Well, it Ari be won't so be. So funny. His comments but, and his thoughts on th different hey, things. Hey man, his perspective would be. So yeah, Theo drafted is like, hey man, I ain't getting Cam Newton on my team, man. I, I don't. He's got an untrustworthy <laughs> face. He's got untrustworthy face. He like, man, you know, Jack Terry is like a strategy. top fifty dog. Strategy is like nobody with consecutive yeah. vowels well, we gonna in their names. The right? We got to decide who's in. Yeah, we got. Well, usually what we do is like yeah. in, throughout the times, usually half of the league is comics and people on the show, and then half of the league is fans. So, uh, and guess yeah. what? We just guarantee, uh, Casper, you got a spot in the and podcast. I gotta just, say, just the, for your call today. I say kick today. Johnny out, put Casper in. The guy that tattooed himself last year, he's got to get. <laughs> don't you think we gotta let him? Yeah, let him back in. But, but he's got to get, get another, another tattoo. tattoo. Yeah. Another fuck tattoo. Boy. The guy who wrote fuck boy, fuck boy for life. Yeah, Devlin. yeah, yeah. Matt, Matt Devlin, I think it's. Yeah, yeah, Matt Devlin's got to get another yeah. tattoo. Yeah, we got to get him back in, but he's got to get double. Uh. Just, just the word double. Like he should really double fuck boys. We got to get a family portrait of Punch Drunk Sports on <laughs> just all of us. Guys, I have a quick question. Yes. What? That's how you do it, Casper. Yeah. Caller of the day. Nice. Caller of the day. Caller of. We gotta get back to the award shows. I love that yeah. guy, by the way. Yeah. Cool I guy. didn't even understand. Very cool guy. Think he had that accent. I follow what him an on everything. I am. Yeah. I kind of get what you're saying, though. Like, you, when he's you, we all talk to him. But, he's Danish. Yeah. What do you think he's going to no, sound I mean, like? Hey, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm from Denmark. <laughs> Speaking of that accent. Yes. Shit. Wrong call. Sorry. It was Cousin Jeb for a second. Hey, who's online? You're on with Punch Drunk Sports. What's up, guys? It's Steven from hey. Dallas. I gotta oh, cool. Hi, quick, Steven uh, from Dallas. Hi, Steven from Dallas. Um, what do y'all think about the Connor Khabib matchup? in the future and uh, what are y'all thoughts talk about on that. the DC Brock fight and if that'll actually happen if you thought it will bow down for that or if they will end up paying off or Where are you what are y'all's general thoughts on that well we talked about it a bit earlier in the show but I mean I I don't give a shit about the Brock thing I think it's disrespectful to uh right. Stipe Miocic but and then uh you know I, I the Connor and Khabib thing like we were saying earlier I hope it happens I hope nobody gets hurt um, we've actually prayed to the gods at BetDSI.com to make sure that happens. Use the code PUNCH25. And, um, but uh, we'll see, man. I mean, I, I don't give a fuck about the Brock thing. I don't give a fuck about Brock. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I, I think I it's yeah, fuck. I would say the same for a lot of people. I would say the same for a lot of people there. Um, I've heard that it's going to be a lot of money on the UFC's part to be able to get him to fight. So I know I know that's a big draw, but like you said, the Connor Khabib is going to be way bigger and way more anticipated. I think everybody is extremely ready for that. I'm very excited for that. I, I, I my only thing about it is I really wanted it to be in Moscow. There was all the talk it was going to be in Moscow. Yeah, and it would have been yes. like Rocky Four all over uh, again. Meeting with Putin. 
Where is that it? That was Vegas? awesome. I love seeing that. Vegas, yeah. And all the shit. He started off with that one. <laughs> yeah, ve- that'll be in Vegas. And then the Diaz, Nate Diaz fight, uh, Poirier fights in New York. That's right. Also, that Diaz fight, I forgot to bring that up. It's going to be a fantastic one as well. And yeah. I, I'll always root for Diaz. The hey, Diaz dude, I'm brother. trying to get some shows out in Dallas. So if I come out, you got to come and hang out. Oh, Tripoli, I'll come meet you personally and shake your hand, brother. Oh, thank you, you, dude. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it, man. Uh, uh, who's your? What's your football team? Um, Bye. I, there we go. Bye, Felice Lissa. Bye, Felice Lissa. I didn't think it could get worse, but Felice Lissa is. <laughs> Guys, uh, it's good to be back. Daddy's back, and it was fun. We talked sports. We laughed. We cried. We questioned <laughs> fighting Annie's mothering skills. It was a full fucking day. You're a mother? <laughs> the usual shit. You a mother? Uh, yeah, final I'm thoughts mother. around the horn. Final thoughts. Uh, I'm excited uh, for football to be coming around the corner. Next episode, we'll talk about We'll talk about it on the Patreon, so please, everybody, subscribe to Patreon. Uh, we got a lot of c- cool things going on there. The next one, we'll talk a little bit more specifically about uh, our fantasy league. And there will be people coming out uh, in our fantasy league, sexually, specifically from being Patreon subscribers. So sexually. that's one way to get in. Subscribe to Patreon and uh, suck it. All right, man. Johnny, any thoughts? No. Fight <laughs> nanny. All right, Sam. So good goodbye, Aaron. Go baseball. Cards. Bye, guys. <laughs>